just not a thing now. Thank heavens. Right. We've been stressed about this. We had rain yesterday. We're going to have rain tomorrow and today's just as gorgeous as can be. So I'm looking forward to a great show. We're going to be yes. here for about three hours, Diane. It's going to be a, a long afternoon here. And we have so many people out in the field. We have crews all over Region 8. Chief Meteorologist Ryan Vaughn and Meteorologist Jace Passmore are out in Paragould for Eclipse on the Ridge. Meteorologist Aaron Castleberry is in Cherokee Village for another other festival. We've also got Maddie Sexton. She's at Central Baptist Church in Jonesboro. Macy Davis and Alejandra Hernandez are in Piggott and Hayden Savage and Rondasia Howard are in Pocahontas. And if you are out wherever you are, we want to see your pictures and your videos and you can send those to us through the see it, snap it, send it feature over on KAIT8.com and of course always on the K8 News app. But first, you know, Diana, we're going to start off this morning. We're going to check in with Maddie Sexton. Maddie is out in Jonesboro this morning. So, Maddie, you're. Yes, Chase, Diana, so far so good here at Central Baptist Church. We've got music, we've got all these food trucks behind me, and we've got people from all really over the nation. I've talked to people from Atlanta, Memphis, Knoxville, and even Orlando, Florida. They drove up. They Some have told me that they originally weren't going to come to Jonesboro, but then they woke up, saw the weather, and thought this was the perfect spot to be. So Central Baptist has got all these food trucks behind me. They've got cotton candy. There's a couple barbecue trucks, some pizza, and then they've also got some sweet treats like they've got lemonade. So everyone here is set to go. And um, right now um, we're really within the last 30 minutes. People have really been flooding in. Um, they've got cars lined throughout. Everyone's got their chairs. People have brought picnic setups, um, snacks. Um, the vibes really are really high here at Central Baptist Church right now, and I'll be out here all morning and the sun is shining. We've got a slight breeze going on and there's really nothing but smiles and everyone is super ready for the eclipse. So I'll be sure to give you all the details as um, the day goes on. Back to y'all. Thank you, Maddie. And this really is a family experience. I've seen so many families mm -hmm. Your reconnect. Here. Yes, my mother <laughs> is here, you know, back in 2017. Mm -hmm. She came out, so we said, let's do this again. Let's celebrate this again together. Now, we have other meteorologists out and about. Of course, Aaron Castleberry, he's been working hard all day today. He's been up in Cherokee Village since at least about 4.30 this morning. So, Aaron, compared to then, how are things going now this morning? Oh, it is just fantastic out here right now here in Cherokee Village. We have the live music going on. People are coming in. They're just steadily coming in. I've talked to a couple from England today who came to Cherokee Village for the eclipse. A man who made the last minute decision to come from Texas. He's from Switzerland who's here. We have astronomers who are from Brazil and Australia here in Cherokee Village because we have this fantastic weather, a great viewing experience here at the Solar Eclipse Festival here in Cherokee Village. If you have nowhere else to be, come on down here. It's only $10 to get in. We have food trucks here. We have live music. Even tonight, uh, whenever the national championship game is going on, they have a jumbotron that's here that will be playing the game tonight. So this is the place to be here in Cherokee Village. If you're up here in the Ozarks, come down. I'll have more from Cherokee Village coming up in just a little bit live here in Cherokee Village. Back to you. All right, thank you, Aaron. So much excitement yes, yes. all over Region 8, and this is the best place to watch everything. Oh, absolutely. Yes. 100%. <laughs> because we get to have a, an eagle eyes view of we all do. of it. Now we go to Randolph County where we have Hayden Savage and Rondasia <laughs> Howard hanging out. And Good you know, morning. <laughs> Hayden, when we were in the meeting here about an hour and a half ago, I just barely heard what you were talking about. We we're talking about some Guinness Book of World Records and something about planes and skydiving. So w what is going on over there in Pocahontas? So a, a lot of crazy stuff is going to happen today here in Pocahontas. Uh, we'll talk about that all throughout the day today, but there's going to be about five skydivers. They've came from West Tennessee and they are going to be jumping out of a plane when the eclipse happens. Like you said, I'm joined by Rondasia Howard. She's back behind me here talking to some folks. I think I heard the names of different states like Wyoming being thrown out here in Randolph County. So that's pretty spectacular. But uh, so they're over off to my left. They're at the uh, the fire station number two, I believe uh, the skydivers are. They're getting ready. 
Uh, they're getting their planes ready, things like that, their oxygen, all that getting ready to go. They are going to get everything hooked up in the plane, and they're going to fly off at about 1.30, and whenever totality happens, they're going to jump out of that plane and be ready to go. It's going to be pretty cool here in Randolph County. So far, traffic has been very good. I mean, you know, it's a regular day here in Pocahontas. So far, it looks like I've, I can see Highway 67 right over here. Traffic has picked up just a little bit, but nothing too terrible, no stoppage, anything like that. So doing pretty good so far here in Randolph County. But Pocahontas is a great spot to see the eclipse. We have got a little bit of cloud cover, but it's not that we can't see the sun through. So I think we're going to have a, a good viewing of totality. We hope so anyway. And, uh, of course, the Pocahontas this airport you can see for miles out here so it's a good spot to stop by say hi and uh, see us here in Randolph County in Pocahontas back to you guys Hayden thank you, thank you so well, much well, 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 let me get this straight they're gonna jump out of a perfectly good mm -hmm. plane they got to pack some courage today uh, absolutely <laughs> there's so many ways to celebrate the eclipse Diana and I never would have thought of jumping out of an airplane they're not gonna be able to see it you're gonna be I looking know, down I know I <laughs> try really hard to crane your neck up as right. you're falling <laughs> and of course we've got other people out and about today we're gonna head up north where we have Macy Davis and Alejandra Hernandez rather they're gonna be live out in Piggott this morning Diana <laughs> and another place that we have been working to get to for weeks now uh, and get everything ready and ready to go. They've been working very hard. Macy Davis uh, is go going to join us and tell us all about it from her vantage point. Macy. Yes. Yes, that's right, Diana. They have been planning for this day for so long here in Piggott. We're here at the museum. There's already so much excitement here. Something I think is really cool that they're putting on. The library is having a life size candy land, so they have like this big board and I guess you are like the pieces on the board, so that's pretty fun. They also have face painting. You can take a tour of the museum as well. So a lot of really fun stuff happening here and it it's such a beautiful day. I know that we've talked about that a lot, but it's something that I feel like is really important today on Eclipse Day is that there's not like a lot of cloud cover at, at all. It's very sunny. It feels great, maybe a little bit warm. And another thing is the traffic really isn't that bad. We did see some plates from people from out of the state even when we were coming in from Jonesboro to Pigott, but really it hasn't been too bad. It's been a pretty smooth ride. And something else here in Piggott, there are people that are starting to line up here at the museum. They're ready for all the excitement to happen. Totality is going to be from 156 to 159 here. We're just kind of talking with people about their experiences and where they're from. We've seen some people from California, from Louisiana, from Michigan. So we're going to continue to talk with them and share their stories with you throughout the day. And later, I'm going to talk with Alejandra Hernandez. She's going to get here in front of the camera and she's going to tell me about her experience when she saw the total solar eclipse. So. Pretty fun stuff, you guys. We'll send it back to you. Sounds like a ton of fun. Can't wait for those other reports. Thank you so much, Macy. With all this talk about the eclipse, we've been talking about it for months at this point, but meteorologist Jace Passmore is going to join us now and break down the science behind this special event in this special report. Uh, totality here will be just under three minutes, and then the moon in its orbit will start to go past the face of the sun and we'll see sliver of light that gets ever increasingly larger. Total solar eclipses happen every year or two, but can only occur when there is a new moon. So if they happen yearly, why don't we see more? And why is our next one decades away? The answer, our planet is 70% water, so most eclipses occur over open oceans. David Neighbors has experienced multiple eclipses. Anything that you would expect to see at dusk can, can happen. I mean, insects can start chirping, birds can start uh, roosting, uh, the temperature can become noticeably cooler. Not only will we see a change in temperature, once in totality, the sun will have a completely different look. If you look at the edge of the sun, uh, or the edge of where the moon is covering up the sun, you can see prominences which look like flames uh, leaping off the sun. According to NASA, a solar eclipse is the result of a cosmic coincidence. Even though the sun is about 400 times bigger than the moon, it's also 400 times farther away. This makes the sun and the moon appear almost exactly the same size in our sky. On October 14th, we will experience an annular eclipse. Robert said due to the moon's orbit, the annular eclipse is connected to the total solar eclipse we will experience in April. Be a annular eclipse, okay? And this is when the moon is at its furthest point in this, this, uh, this slightly elliptical um, 
uh, orbit. David Neighbors said this is something that you will not want to miss, but he did stress to make sure that you view the eclipse safely. April 8th of 2024. Uh, that's, people that have experienced a total solar eclipse will always remember that. It will be very dark. Approved glasses, solar eclipse glasses made for this purpose. And we've got some of those approved glasses out here on the weather deck this afternoon. That was Jace Passmore reporting for us. And as we mentioned, Jace is out hanging out with Ryan Vaughn in Paragold for all the celebrations. So let's go ahead and check in on that fun out there, Diana. How right that? there in Paragold. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Diana and Chase. A beautiful uh, day that we are seeing. We've got lots of sunshine out here, a few serious clouds. Now, there's not a lot of people out here at the Paragould Community Center right now. A steady flow of people coming to get solar glasses from us and uh, some people kind of setting up in the parking lot. But I think as time goes on, this is going to be one of the spots to be because you can see the horizon all the way around. And don't forget, when you put those solar glasses on, when we hit totality for that two and a half to four minutes at your location, in the path, you can take those solar glasses off and you look at the corona around the sun and as soon as the moon comes back out across the sun and the light comes back out, of course, you either need to look down or put the glasses back on. But what about the weather? So far, only cirrus clouds. If you look at the satellite and radar right now, you can see that the rain is well down to our south. The thicker cloud cover is down to our south and so far, so good. Visible satellite has been looking really nice. We'll zoom in just on Region 8 and you can see that we've got a mostly sunny sky for everyone right now. So our confidence meter right now continues to go up. Just some cirrus clouds passing through and you can see the sun through those clouds. I do want to also point out if you missed it, there will be an opportunity to see planets when the totality takes place. So uh, where the sun and moon is, if you look to the left, there will be a bright light that's Jupiter. The brightest light will be Venus to the right and down maybe just a little bit. In fact, you'll be be able to see Venus about 10 minutes before totality. To the right, Mars and Saturn will be little dots there also. Now, in between Jupiter and the sun and moon, there is a chance, a small chance, but with these cirrus clouds, I'm not sure how that'll play in, but there's a, a chance that you see a little smear in the sky. That would be a comet. So a lot of things to look at during that two and a half to four minutes of totality. So the weather is cooperating. An hour by hour look at the forecast shows that by 130. We're continuing with a mostly sunny sky. Look at those temperatures. It's warm out here. I need to put sunscreen on. The sun is shining brightly. We're going to be up to around 80 degrees. Now, after the eclipse, later on tonight, clouds thicken up, rain starts coming in, and we start dealing with a heavy rain event for the next few days. Thankfully, we had the clouds and the rain yesterday. We're squeezing in the uh, solar eclipse today, and then tomorrow, Wednesday, on into Thursday, the rain starts coming in. So, uh, everyone, the weather is cooperating. We are very fortunate because what we have right now is below average on the cloud cover for a normal April 8th in Region 8. That is some awesome news on the weather front this morning. Thank you so much for that, Ryan. But happening now in our Eclipse coverage, we're taking a look at your traffic. This is the delay map from idrivearkansas.com. As you can see on your screen here, I actually can't really see this screen at all. So uh, you take a look there, make sure that everything is good. I know that we did have some delays earlier this morning as you were coming in from Memphis and Crittenden County. So uh, we definitely want to take a look at that. We're scrolling in a little bit there uh, so that you can see, but we're also going to take some live looks at your traffic cameras this morning. This is a live look from Walnut Ridge over in Lawrence County. They have a festival going on in that area. You can see traffic moving just fine down there in Walnut Ridge. Beautiful day. That weather is really working out out there. Now we're going to take a live look in Newport as well this morning. No issues here on this camera as well, but you might want to check that RDOT map as you do walk out the door as you are heading wherever you are, or if you're staying at home and just want to see what you're missing out on by all those cars that you don't have to deal with. And finally, we're going to take a look at the Black Rock Bridge through the idrivearkansas.com. Again, no issues out there right now this morning. Then we're going to head over to Hardy 
for our final camera right here where downtown is hoping to take advantage of the tourists in the area. And again, no real issues in the area right now, so things moving smoothly. That's what we wanted to see this morning. That's some really good news. And if you are just joining us, we do want to send. We want you rather to send us your pictures of the eclipse. Send us pictures of the events, just people looking up at the sky, the sun itself, anything. You can submit those to our see it, snap it, send it page over on KIT8.com and as always, the K8 News app. You know, a lot of people always want to take pictures mm -hmm. of what's happening above us, uh -huh. but you also want to take pictures of those who are with you Absolutely. around you. Absolutely, especially maybe if you're over in Cherokee Village. I know there's yeah. a lot going on up there, Aaron. A lot of smiling faces, I hope. <laughs> oh, a lot of smiling faces and don't worry about taking a picture of those that eclipse itself. Go ahead and just take pictures of your family and everything. We'll have the pictures of the eclipse here. I have on my eclipse glasses. I can't see really anything above me, but if I look up towards the sun, I can see the sun. We have a little bit of cirrus clouds out here right now, but that is not blocking anything. Now, the eclipse hasn't started yet, but we're getting closer to that. Behind me, we have a map right now of where people have come to Cherokee Village and visited. We've got people that are from Nevada in California. We have people here in Arkansas, in Kansas, and Missouri, and Wisconsin, and Michigan, and all the way from England and Switzerland out there. Beautiful day to have all of these people here in Northeast Arkansas. Here in a little bit, we'll hear from the Cherokee Village AMP Commission on this festival and everything that's going on here and around Cherokee Village. But hey, if you have, if you're say in Hardy or if you're in Cave City and you don't have anywhere else to be, come up here to Cherokee Village, the solar. So the Solar Eclipse Festival here, right next to the Cherokee Village Town Center. We have somebody with a remote control car. We have food trucks. We have the, we have here, if you are a fan of Stranger Things, we have the actual uh, Ferris wheel from Stranger Things here. So get down here to Cherokee Village. Get down here. It's going to be fun for the eclipse. During totality, I know it's just going to be an awesome, awesome event. Thank you so much for that, Aaron. That is awesome. Some awesome, awesome stuff going on all around Diana. And you know, yes. something that we were talking about earlier that Ryan said, you know, the sun is out. You want to put on that sunscreen today. Right. Did you y bring any today? I have some sunscreen. <laughs> you put your hat on. I did. I had to put the hat on. Yeah. I didn't want to get well, he, get a sunburn yeah, on top of my head. But we're taking right. a lot. That was a live look at the celebrations over in Pocahontas, <laughs> rather. We got a little carried away just, just talking. There yes, for a but there's so much to talk there about. There is so much going on. But like we on today and have the glasses make sure you have those glasses ready yes. sunglasses as well we're taking a live look in Piggott now it looks like quite a few people are starting to show up out here to see this big event I know there's a lot going on over in Piggott this yes, morning yes and we uh, are going to take our attention there good morning region 8 to uh, the, the great American Eclipse and the people who are over there right mm. now as well as everyone who is joining us and watching the great American Eclipse uh, we have been looking at our solar cam throughout the morning and and encouraging you to use these glasses until totality until totality you can take them off during totality but like right now you know we just had that that look at the sun if we looked up at the sun we got to put these yes. glasses on and Nothing going on just yet. Diana. It's still just, it's a regular circle. It's, but you know, we it's will count you down for sure into all of the excitement. Absolutely. We've got so much going on. We've got reports all over Region 8. We're having a lot of fun this morning, I would say, it's Diana. It's really you know, a cosmic coincidence when you, you've got the sun and mm -hmm. the moon is going to come right in front of it. And, and look like to us that it's almost the si same yeah. size and we see the corona, those mm -hmm. little red fingery like things. Yeah. I've not seen this before. I've only heard about it. And I've only seen the partial one. The first one I ever saw was back in 2017 and it was really cool, but it's going to be nothing compared to oh, what we get to see yes. here. And what time is it? It's, it's 1120 right now. So we've got, you know, just a... Well, one, <laughs> it's been a long day already. 150, whatever the math is for that, Diana. We've got a few more hours before totality, but. And, oh, look, Siri, <laughs> Siri answered Siri him. Me. Isn't that cool? <laughs> you know, technology has uh -huh. allowed us to look at this event and be able to count uh -huh. down exactly into when totality will happen. Uh -huh. And of course, we will do that with you. But we want to encourage you to take the time today 
to enjoy this experience that Mother Nature mm -hmm. is providing to us. I mean, this is rare. What, 20 years again? Yeah, 20 years, and that one's not gonna be here, you know? No. That, that's it, the, the odds of it happening at all is crazy enough, right. like you were saying, but happening right here, I think I read somewhere, it's the odds of a solar eclipse happening in any place is like, one every 300 something years. So. And, you know, to think that it starts in Mexico, it's kind of like we're all doing the wave. Yeah, Ooh, we here we go. And it's all headed, you know, yeah. uh, uh, east of us then mm -hmm. after that point. So, yeah, and exciting. So we're going to have all kinds of coverage throughout the rest of your morning from now until 2.30. But, Diana, we are going to take a quick break. I'm going to get a sip of water, maybe put on <laughs> some sunblock real quick. Bring but some for me. There you go. But we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so back to, um, is this the 12, uh, no? I think we're just still in the 11 after the first break. So we lost our iPads uh, to overheating, but they're back for right now, but we had no idea. We had nowhere to go. Up, so we were kind of going black. Okay, so that. you brought that back up for me in black. Here. You want to put we may, I in white? All over the How do you do page. this, like right here? Good morning, Region 8. The Great American Eclipse is upon us. You're taking a live look at our solar cam. Just a few minutes from totality. We will check in, of course, with that again. Today we have the Great American Eclipse and we have Walnut Ridge Mayor Charles Snap live with how they are celebrating today's event. Good morning, Mayor. Hey, good morning. How's everyone? We're doing great. What does it look like there from your vantage point? Well, the great thing about it, we have clear skies. I mean, if there's a cloud, they're real thin and real high. But we have a fantastic crowd. I'm, I'm at Stewart Park in Walnut Ridge right now, and I'm going to say that we probably have well in excess of a thousand people already here set up throughout the park. I didn't know there was this many telescopes in the country, much less Northeast Arkansas. And it's exciting to have all of these visitors come to your town. Have they been checking out the area and the attractions there in Walnut Ridge? You know, Beatles Park, the Guitar Walk have all been full. I was out at the airport earlier. Wings of Honor was packed. Planes were coming in. Walnut Ridge is going to have a big day. Even the Walmart parking lot <laughs> is set up with all sorts of cameras and uh, telescopes as well. What a great opportunity to introduce the area to people who might not otherwise have thought of coming to Walnut Ridge. No, it's a unique opportunity and uh, at least from my standpoint, it's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity at my age. 
Do you liken this to that little time period when the Beatles made their way through? I mean, is this kind of like that or did the Beatles draw more people? <laughs> you know, honestly, uh, since you said that, I'm gonna say this will compare with the crowd that we pull in for the event. If you combine the city park, the people downtown, the people at the airport, it's going to be about the same size as what the uh, Beatles at the Ridge uh, Festival is. Oh, that is exciting. Mayor Charles Snap, thank you so much for joining us today and telling us about what is going on on this magnificent day in Region 8. And now it looks like we're going to take a look in Jonesboro and see what's happening in this area. And for that, we go to Maddie Sexton, who is live at Central Baptist. Hello, Maddie. Hello, Diana. So things are still going super great here. Um, something really neat is that there's so many out of towners, so everyone is kind of repping their sports teams. We've got some locals, so we've got some Red Wolves fans over here behind me. You can see this um, purple and yellow LSU umbrella, so wrong territory, but right idea, rep your team. Um, we've got some Tennessee fans over here. I've just spoken with people from Iowa. Um, they all woke up super early this morning to get to Jonesboro and watch the solar eclipse. So super exciting stuff um, right here to my right. There's this huge telescope that people are, I guess they brought to look at the sky and look at the sun and be sure everyone has their eclipse glasses um, right now. If you put them on and you look at the sun, it just looks like a orange ball um, in a dark black sky. So I'm really interested to see how the eclipse will look with these on when that happens. And coming up, I'll get to speak with some of these Tennessee fans and you'll hear about the journey um, that they took this morning to get here. Live in Jonesboro, Maddie Sexton, K8 News. Maddie, thank you so much. And now we have a live look from Paragold. You know, if there's anyone that is geeking out about <laughs> this day, it is our very own Chief Meteorologist, Ryan Vaughn, who will have an update for you in just a few minutes. Good morning, Region 8. As we mentioned, we're continuing our coverage here of the Great American Eclipse, and we hope to have Ryan ready to go here in just a bit. We have a countdown of of course, throughout the day to the Great American Eclipse. And many of you have been buying or picking up these glasses. I know I was out and about this weekend and everywhere I went, people were looking for the glasses. And to find out why it's so important to have a pair of these on hand today, our very own Aaron Castleberry spoke to a Blival eye doctor about your eyes and the eclipse. So whatever you do, again, rule number one, do not look directly at the exposed sun. It may seem like common sense to not look directly at the sun on any normal day. That applies also on solar eclipse day. Staring at the sun, especially in the eclipse, can cause eclipse blindness. Medically, that's called solar retinopathy. Optometrist Dr. Matthew Jones says if you stare at the sun for a prolonged period of time, it can cause damage to the retinal cells. Namely, the macula which is the center of our vision. Dr. Jones says it's usually permanent. And there are certainly some cases where some vision might come back, but again, rule number one, do not look at the exposed sun ever without proper safety glasses. These are proper eclipse glasses. Now, if I put them on and I look at the camera, I cannot see a thing, but once I look up towards the sun, I can see the sun perfectly without damaging my eyes. Dr. Jones says if you have a pair from the last eclipse, those should be good to go. Just check them out. Just make sure you're examining those, making sure that there's no cracks or no tears. He says there is one period of time during the eclipse when you can take off your glasses, and that's during totality. Luckily for us, in much of the region, we're going to have a total solar eclipse. Um, during the total solar eclipse, you can actually look at it without eye protection. As long as you protect your eyes, the entire eclipse should be an out-of-this-world experience. 
Thank you, Erin. If you plan to take photos or video of the eclipse, Dr. Jones says to make sure your camera, binoculars, and things like that have a protective filter on them before pointing them toward the sun. You don't want to make that mistake. Definitely not. No. Don't want to ruin your phone <laughs> for one picture. No, absolutely <laughs> not. And now it's time to check back in with our sister station, KFVS. We're live over there from Pop Poplar bluff today checking in on the mood there so what is it that you're seeing up there in Missouri Well, I'm here in uh, in Poplar Bluff, obviously, Missouri. Uh, we're outside Poplar Bluff High School, and this is the center of a lot of the uh, eclipse tourism, as as you say. This uh, little community is right smack dab in the middle. It's not just in the path of totality. It's in the middle of the path. So this is one of the, the uh, cities, certainly the, the city in Missouri, that's going to see the longest duration of totality, four minutes and eight seconds, uh, which is, which is a... Uh, causing Poplar Bluff to really be a, 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 a tourist destination for a lot of major municipalities in this region. Nashville, Memphis, St. Louis, a lot of people there. But there is, uh, you can't see it from back here, but there's a, a U.S. map right back here behind me where, where visitors are coming and they're putting a pin in from where they've traveled. And you can see pins all across the Midwest, even down south. I met a couple uh, when I was in a restaurant last night from Florida. So this is a huge amount of of uh, attention and interest in a huge influx of uh, tourists. And for that reason as well, the loca uh, local municipalities here are, are pooling uh, law enforcement, public safety, uh, EMS resources as well. Uh, so, uh, and then obviously local businesses are doing their best as you've been hearing throughout the day, I'm sure, uh, to capitalize on this, on this event that really only happens once. It's only a few uh, minutes here. So I walk around uh, the, 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 the track here at, at Poplar Bluff High School, uh, and I, I, I'll even turn my camera over a little bit, and you can see uh, behind the fence there, there's the crowds getting their chairs ready. There's all of the, the vendors. Uh, there's food. This place smells like kettle corn, which is amazing. This is a event, a celebration, and it's really a, a moment in time when everybody in this particular area, for just a couple minutes, stops what they're doing. Everybody is is united regardless of your political ideology your your upbringing your socioeconomic status everybody is the same in that moment everybody looking in the same direction upward so we're going to be uh, looking for that uh, 12 39 is when partiality begins here in poplar bluff and then uh, just a few minutes before two is when that totality begins and again it lasts for four minutes and eight seconds i'm live here in poplar bluff joe mclean k8 news Joe, thank you for that report. You know, so many people don't understand how rare this is. Absolutely. Carbondale, Illinois, they had totality mm, they in 2017 uh -huh. and they get it again. They got the jackpot. They did. Of they all really did. It's not too far from here if you're wanting to no. make the drive back then, but you know, of course, yeah. you don't have to today. Well, we're having <laughs> the jackpot with the weather. Absolutely. And we're going back to Aaron Castleberry, who is in Cherokee Village. Hi, Aaron. Maybe. <laughs> hey, Chase. Good. Hey there, Region 8. Oh, am I here? Am I here? Do y'all hear me? Good. I'm going to talk. I'm I'm going to talk anyway. We got the sun out. It is fantastic here in Cherokee Village right now. I have a colander in my hand. And you know, you're probably wondering, why do I have a colander in my hand right now? I went down to Walmart and bought this a little while ago. And what's going to be cool is once we start going towards, start to see that partiality of the sun being eclipsed, you'll be able to see it through the holes on the calendar. And I think that would be cool. And then you'll be able to put on a then if you have these uh, nice eclipse glasses, you can look up and you'll be able to see it. Right now, we're not part of the partiality of the eclipse hasn't started yet. We're still about an hour from that, but that's going to be awesome. I have my colander. I have my glasses. I'm here with great friends from all across the world. We have everybody from across the pond to right here in America that's come to Cherokee Village, and it's going to be a fun party. We have music. We have the Stranger Things Ferris wheel. You couldn't ask for more than that, and then we'll have the, uh, the national championship game on the Jumbotron tonight. Just everything you need down here at Cherokee Village, plus some tacos I'll probably have to go get here in just a little bit. We will talk, come back and talk to you in just a little bit, but for now, I'm live in Cherokee Village. Back to y'all.
It's making me hungry with the tacos there, Aaron. We don't have any food out here on the weather deck. All I have is water. So now, now I'm just going to be hungry for the next next two and a half hours or however long we're here. Thank you so much for that, Aaron. We also want to check in over in Randolph County. We were talking to Hayden Good. Savage earlier. Uh, we're going to check in with him again here in just a second. Last hour, or last, not hour, however long we've been out here, Diana. I don't even know at this point. We're but crazy with the sun. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> we've been out here in the sun for too long already. But Hayden was right telling now. us about some We're skydiving and some all kinds of craziness <laughs> going on over in Pocahontas. Yeah, so go. we're going to check back in. And Hayden, what is going on over there now? We've got a lot of planes showing up here at the Pocahontas Airport. Behind me here, one, two, three, four, five, and I think one is on down the runway. So that's six airplanes here at the airport right now. I'm with the Yuck family. Tell me your first name. Hey, I'm Steve. Okay. Nicole. Okay. Hannah. Very good. And y'all are from where? Gainesville, Florida. Gainesville, Florida, here in Region 8. Tell us, how did y'all end up in Northeast Arkansas and why Pocahontas specifically? We uh, actually went up to Vermont for a trip for my uh, sister-in-law's birthday, but on the way down, came up with Pocahontas because it looked like a wonderful place to stop. Very cool. So uh, y'all just got here. What's kind of the plan for you guys? To not go blind. <laughs> that is a good plan. <laughs> are y'all here for a day? Or are you going to fly out after the eclipse? Kind of what are you planning on that side? Yeah, we're, he we're headed out. Unfortunately, reality strikes and we have to work tomorrow. There you go. So uh, what what uh, what have y'all seen so far? I mean, I know y'all just got here, but what, what sites are you, you know, kind of looking at? Or, or is this kind of what you were expecting out of Pocahontas? Well, really nice people. Everyone was awesome when we came on in. And friendly faces, smiles, and I hear there's some pretty amazing barbecue. <laughs> Uh, you would probably be right in that regard. All right, it's the Yuck family here from Gainesville, Florida, in northeast Arkansas. Diana and Chase will send it back to you. Right, thank you, Hayden. And we want to remind people, you know, whatever you do, don't pull over on mm -hmm. the side of the road. Find a place to pull in a parking lot or somewhere. And don't don't park on a bridge. Absolutely, not. this is dangerous. And don't drive with <laughs> do these on. Do not drive on. with it. You cannot see, <laughs> Diana. I can't see you. I can't see anything. No, with these. no. So remember <laughs> those things. Absolutely. No matter how awestruck you are. Don't stop in the middle of the road. There we go. But we do yes. want to check in on the fun that's happening over in Paragould now. Chief Meteorologist Ryan Vaughn and Jace Passmore are out there in Paragould. So, guys, what, what is going on in Paragould right now? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Chase and Diana, uh, we have been here at the Paragould Community Center for the past couple hours, and it's really been kind of quiet. People have been in and out getting solar glasses, but you guys just came in from Jackson, so when I when, when I heard you just got here, mm. I had to know. I'm like, okay, what's the traffic like? Actually, surprisingly light. Really? I, I, I figured we uh, would be, you know, in some lines on the way here, but we didn't run into any traffic. Seen like the standard fare lunchtime type traffic. Really? Yeah. So which way did you guys come from to get here? Uh, we went through the boot hill, so okay. we used 412 to come all the way in through the uh, through the bypass, and it yeah. was smooth sailing all the way here. There you go. So traffic's we've been, we've been starting to get reports at 55 is backed up coming out of Memphis, but uh, at least 412 coming over unless they all yeah. wait until the last second. Yeah, exactly. Looking pretty good. <laughs> all right, so if you're watching us over uh, in Dyersburg or something like that, come on, come on, come come on, on. over. You all right. Like Meteorologist Jace Passmore, you've been here. What do you think about the weather so far? I like the weather. We, we still have some of these high-level cirrus clouds, but I've been watching satellite, and I like what I'm seeing so far. It's warm. It's nice. Subtle breeze. It's a beautiful day to get outside. Yeah. So let's take a look at satellite real fast, and uh, a lot of people were wondering about the weather. Uh, we're looking good. If you look, the rain is down to our south right now. It's going to stay down to our south. In fact, we're going to continue with these cirrus clouds. Visible satellite showing that we've had some thicker clouds down to the southern part of the state. Uh, but if you notice, we are looking good in Region 8 right now, and we hope to keep that. So our confidence meter on the eclipse still pegging out there with a mostly sunny sky. Not completely clear, but I'll take this. This is definitely above average conditions for April 8th in Region 8 uh, for an eclipse viewing. So once again, I've had a lot of people asking me, when does this start? And when they get the solar glasses, I've been reminding them also 
that when we hit totality, you can take the glasses off during totality. That's going to be at 155. So it starts at 1237. Uh, 155, we hit the maximum eclipse, and then it will uh, start ending. It's the backside of the eclipse uh, between uh, 2 o'clock and 315. So uh, just looking around, we've got some people starting to set up uh, back over in the soccer fields. There's been a lot of kids uh, on the playground, uh, but it's not too crowded just yet. Now, I will say uh, Hampton Inn and Holiday Inn are pretty close. Both of them completely sold out. So wouldn't be surprised if some of those people come over uh, and watch as we get closer to totality. But for now, we'll send it back to you guys back at KAIT. All right, thank you so much for that, Ryan and Jace. Now we're going to turn our attention to our weather camera over in Southside this morning. Traffic moving just fine out there. You can see just a blue sky. It is sunny out there. I can attest it's definitely sunny out here on the weather deck. Starting to get a little hot as well. <laughs> but now we're also going to check in real quick with Colton Strader from Lion College. And I know that there's events going on at Lion College. There's stuff going on in Batesville. Tell us a little bit about all the festivities going over on your neck of the woods. Well, honestly, we have a little bit of everything here. We've got vendors, we've got food, we have an Eclipse cornhole tournament, face painting. We have lit campus up with a little bit of everything for everyone. It's a gorgeous day. The clouds are a little bit of haze. It's very light. Our optimism is very high. We're confident that we are going to have an absolutely beautiful eclipse here on campus. We have quite a bit of traffic. It's a little bit less than we thought, but the foot traffic is incredible and people are having an absolute blast out here. I figure it's going to be a day full and of smiles and excitement. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you there. 100% <laughs> fine. But so are you expecting more of a crowd to show up? I know you said maybe a few less people than you really thought, but are you expecting those numbers to pick up? I mean, we've still got over two hours until totality after all. Yes, no, we are absolutely still expecting people. We have people still trickling on, even as I'm speaking right now. Uh, our vendor row has quite a few different items on it that has lines and lines. So we're definitely expecting more foot traffic as the day goes on and as we get closer to totality. Uh, after totality, we're still expecting a decent crowd as well, because like I said, we have events going until basically 5 p.m. today. It's a whole day thing out here at Lion. Uh, it's open to the community. So if y'all want to come out and have some fun, we're here. Absolutely. That sounds like a ton of fun. Colton, thank you so much for being here with us on our big Eclipse special. I hope that the, the event goes phenomenally out there for you guys. And absolutely, I love the bagpipes in the yes. background there, Diana. That was some great ambiance there. Where in America <laughs> could you have better opportunities to have a little bit of everything right and see Eight. it all That's what it's right all about. here? And it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Before we do go to the break, that great American eclipse is upon us. This is a live look at our solar cam. Nothing going on just yet. We are still a couple hours away from totality, but stay with us. We'll have more coverage right after the break. Just got a text that says, if anyone doubts the number of people coming to Jonesboro and surrounding areas, I'm heading to Memphis right now and traffic is backed up for miles and miles leading up to the I-55. See, that's, that's the problem is that people like are taking the interstates. Yeah. Like, traffic is backed up. Uh, when like you plan trips around like big events and stuff,
Good morning, Region 8. The Great American Eclipse is here. We're taking a live look at our solar cam in just a little bit. Not long from now, we will experience that totality that we've all been waiting for and talking about for months, if not years. And we have all of our reporters out and about. Sure Macy do. Davis at Chase. Macy often anchors mm -hmm. with you uh -huh. in the morning and has been at night. And today she is in Piggott. She's all over the place, Diana. <laughs> she's, she's always picking up some slack. And her and Alejandra Hernandez are out in Piggott. So I know there's a ton of festivities going on out there, guys. So what, what can you tell us this morning? Yeah, definitely. I think it's pretty cool that today, I think every single person who works at our station is on the same schedule because of the eclipse, such a big event that's going on today. And Alejandra Hernandez is with me. We have the sunglasses on because it is so sunny out here. I know, yeah. and it's because we don't have a lot of cloud cover, thank goodness, because that's yeah. great for the eclipse, but we definitely like to have our glasses on today. Definitely, and we've seen a lot of people come through here. We saw someone from California, mm -hmm. I think Michigan, Minnesota, and Louisiana as well. But something we've noticed is a lot of people aren't staying here at the museum where all the festivities are happening. They're wanting to like spend time with their family. Yeah, and that's one of the unique things about just having activities out here is just, you can have the activities out here, but a lot of people just kind of want to spend time with their families. One of the things we saw is someone that had actually had a telescope at, at a house here, and they're they're planning on, on taking nice photos of it is what they said. Yeah, they have the solar filters and everything. They are ready to go, super excited about it. But I also wanted to talk to Alejandra because Alejandra has actually seen a total solar eclipse like so what was that experience like for you it was a very long experience kind of like today that I knew I was prepared I had I brought our snacks and everything yeah. uh, we knew it was going to be a long day but it was really awesome we drove out to Carbondale Illinois and uh, it was a lot of waiting but that moment like I said it's going to be a couple minutes completely worth it I would drive I would drive hours to see something like this was there something that kind of surprised you that maybe people would need to know about uh, definitely. So I don't remember doing any research on this or anything, but I remember this was seven years ago. Like I said, it's kind of hard to remember, but uh, the temperature drop, it, we expected it. We started feeling it, but it was fast. So I think a lot of people, you're just going to oh, see yeah. them just feeling it's going to be a fast drop and it's, it's going to be a lot cooler. That's okay. when the surprise people. A lot cooler. All right. That'll be really interesting to see. So super excited about that. We're going to feel it everywhere across region eight. So we'll send it back to you guys. Alejandra, thank you so much for that perspective. And you know, that's one thing, Chase, mm -hmm. I've been wondering about here because if you know anything about KAIT, you know that we're way out in the county mm -hmm. and we are surrounded by a lot of wildlife. So I'm anxious to see We are, and we just heard a crow happens. going on a minute ago. Yeah. But we do want to check in with Mr. Ryan Vaughn, who is live out in Paragould this morning. And Ryan, I'm looking forward to that little cool down. It's getting a little hot out here on the weather deck. I don't know about in Paragould. <laughs> It is <laughs> definitely a little warm out here also. So yeah, looking for that two and a half minutes of shade as well, uh, where we can hear the crickets and all that. Hey, I just got a text message I wanted to read to you guys. And this text message says, hey, if anyone doubts the number of people coming to Jonesboro and surrounding areas, I'm heading to Memphis right now and the traffic is backed up for miles and miles leading up to the I-555 exit. So. If they're not there yet, they're coming. Let's get a quick look at weather and you can see that all the rain is down to the south. The weather, I, I, I don't even know if we can get any better weather than what we have right now. Visible satellite showing, yeah, a few serious clouds, but I look up and even those aren't a problem right now. So temperatures are warm uh, as you take an hour by hour look between now and the eclipse. Uh, we are going to be going even warmer, looking at low 80s and upper 70s. Notice clouds really hold off until later on tonight. You know, we've been so laser focused on the solar eclipse that we probably have kind of been just glancing over the chance that we've got heavy rain coming in tomorrow into Wednesday. Notice tomorrow morning. I know it's sunny now. No we're all talking about the eclipse, but we got heavy rain coming in. We could pick up two to three to even four inches of rain this week. Notice that we will get some breaks in the action at times, but notice that kind of comes in waves over the next few days uh, as we go into Thursday morning. Still some rounds of heavy rain passing through, so be aware of that. Temperatures right now, it's warm. We're at 76 degrees here in Paragold and down the road in Jonesboro, 74 in Walnut Ridge, 76 in Ash Flat. Uh, we've got winds not too big of a 
a problem with winds, generally three to 10 miles per hour, but every now and then we get just a burst of wind, a little wind gust every now and then uh, that goes up over 20 miles per hour. And I'll be honest, and I'm sure it's, uh, it's probably the same with uh, Chase and Diana. When that wind comes in, it does feel pretty good. Can definitely yes, agree it with does. That. It's been so warm here that our uh, laptops have been yeah, a little uh, behind the scenes there. They've been overheating hot. a little bit, so that's <laughs> that's no good. But it is a beautiful day, it, even though it is a little warm out here, Diana. It's absolutely beautiful. And we would not complain. And, and Ryan, we won't complain about that rain <laughs> as long of as it not. holds off. And absolutely. so right now we're going to check in with all the activities happening at Central Baptist. Maddie Sexton is there and will bring us up to date as to what's going on right now, Maddie. Yeah, hey Diana, hey Chase. So I'm here with a man named Richard and you are from Memphis, correct? Yes, Memphis, Tennessee. So tell me about your journey getting here this morning. Well, half of our group is from Knoxville, which is about six hours east of Memphis. And they said, look, we want to get to this uh, eclipse totality. Let's plan something out. So we looked at places, Little Rock, Heber Springs, fate found us on Jonesboro that looked like it was going to have the best weather and I can't tell you we got here about six o'clock this morning we could not have picked a better spot what a gem of a day bluebird skies everyone's incredibly nice thank you Jonesboro for rolling out the red carpet thank you Central Baptist for rolling out the red carpet we've run into people from Texas that decided it was too cloudy where they were going to be they've arrived in Jonesboro we're just having a blast absolutely and y'all brought the whole spread with you so and tell me about the people you brought so we've got cousins and family from Knoxville, Tennessee. We've got them from Memphis and Germantown, Tennessee. Uh, we've made new friends, like I said, from Florida. Uh, we got some Clemson fans here. I don't know how they found their way here, but it's going to work out. Uh, we're, just, we're having a beautiful day here in Jonesboro, and I think we we got lucky with the best spot in the state as far as I'm concerned. Yes, and you brought um, something from Memphis. So why don't you tell me about what this is? Well, we brought you some Gibson donuts that's famous in Memphis, and we want you to have the blueberry there. Blueberry is my favorite kind of donut, and I have heard n these people say nothing but great things about Gibson Donuts in Memphis, so. Oh, you're not going to share? <laughs> it, gets, it gets an A-plus from me. Thank you so much for the Gibsons. You're welcome. Man. And they've got, you can see behind me, they've just got, I mean, a whole buffet out here. That's They're just right. spending time with family. They've got all their lawn chairs, and coming up, I'll bring you more details. Live in Jonesboro, Maddie Sexton, K8 News. Maddie, I am jealous. Me too, Diana. Me too. Bring some back for us. I don't know if she's <laughs> going to share at all. You know, Ryan mentioned, mm -hmm. Chase, that the Interstate 555 and, and Interstate 55, that interchange in Craighead County, uh, there's a live look right there now. And you know what this might be attributed to, mm -hmm. this backup, is that a lot of people get up the day of and they think, oh, you know, I might go and look after all. Uh -huh. And so it's procrastination too. And, and you know, we were talking all weekend about that traffic and some people said, oh, the traffic's not here. Well, that traffic is coming. Yes. It's still on the way. People are gonna continue to roll in throughout the morning until we get to totality, Aaron. Or, I called you, Aaron. Yes. I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> I, I'm tired, Diane. I've been here since 2.30 this morning. I called Ryan Aaron this morning. I called you Aaron. Aaron, That's you okay. are just on my mind this morning over there in Cherokee Village. So, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you take it away. This is your time. <laughs> hey, Chase, you know, we're, we work together every day, so I get it. But today I get to work out here in Cherokee Village. I'm here with Kelly and Amanda with the Cherokee Village A&P. Tell me, how has this festival here, the Solar Eclipse Festival, been this weekend? It's been amazing. The community has been really enjoying the festivities and we've just really enjoyed the weather. Uh, it was a little windy yesterday, but we made it and it's so beautiful here today. We encourage everybody to come out. What are we do? What are some of the plans heading into the afternoon? I know we got totality, but y'all have even more after totality going on tonight. Uh, we have live music later on this afternoon and then the finals of the college basketball game tonight on the Jumbotron and the Ferris wheel. So yes. this Ferris wheel was actually in the series Stranger Things. That's what I heard. So, I mean, that's a that's a sight in itself. I know, and, you know, I look at it, it's like, do I really want to go on that thing? <laughs> do I, will I go into the upside down? I don't know, but this is kind of the kickoff to the river season, unofficial, official kickoff to the river season a little earlier this year. Yeah, we've actually seen some folks on the river already, um, canoes and, and kayaks. And so, yeah, the water's a little chilly, but we have the most beautiful water here, and we'd love to see everybody come and enjoy it. 
Now, there's a lot of people that are in town from other areas, not just Arkansas, but all around the world. This festival is going on and putting on a great show. Do you hope that they come back? Oh, absolutely. So they really enjoyed the hospitality here and the area and all that, that we have to offer here in the village and the nature and outdoors. And I'll be remiss, the Cherry Pie, the Pie, the pie Festival, Arkansas pie. the Arkansas Pie Festival is in two weeks. Yep. So that's another reason to come back to Cherokee Village. We'll have more from Cherokee Village coming up in just a little bit. Been to the Pie Festival, you, oh, you are missing out. You got to go to the Pie Festival up there in Cherokee Village. I got to cover it a couple years ago. It so was, good. It was really awesome. We do want to head over to Randolph County again now, where Hayden Savage and Rondasia Howard are out hanging out, having a good time at all the festivities. So, Hayden, what can you tell us? You know, we're hearing about a plane, some skydiving, mm -hmm. some some real craziness <laughs> up there in, in Randolph County, and you just you have my attention. Well, it's going to be really cool here you know, whenever totality hits in Randolph County. So like I mentioned in the earlier hit, over there at the fire station just to my left, if you're familiar with the area, we're right here at the airport and the fire station right beside the airport uh, in the, the field back there is where they're getting ready to take off from. Rondasia is actually over there. She's going to be headed over there in just a few minutes to see them, you know, get ready, get stuff in the planes, things like that. It's going to be so cool. I just talked to one of the people that are actually going to be doing the skydiving. They told me they're hoping to break national and state records. Is that not amazing here in Northeast Arkansas? You know, not alone, not not only is this eclipse just going to be something cool. They're going to break these records right here in Randolph County. So we're going to be here all day. We're going to watch it happen and we'll report back tonight if they're actually able to break those records, guys. So excited. Yes. Thank you so much for that. And you know a lot of kids are out of school today mm -hmm. to take this in. Please remind your children at home that they need to have these glasses on for fear of damaging their retina. Absolutely. We went over that earlier, but the eye's retina doesn't have pain receptors, so they won't know. You won't know mm -hmm. if you've done damage until it's, until it's too late. So please have these on until totality. We can't stress that Absolutely. enough. And if we're looking at it right now, you know, I just was nothing going on just yet, Diana, <laughs> just just the regular sun right now. You know, we are just be, just before noon. So we've got about an hour right at an hour really until to, or, uh, sorry, just a uh, two hours yeah. until totality. My math guys is just <laughs> all over the place this morning. I'm very inconsistent. Two hours until totality. And you know, a <laughs> lot of people as mentioned are headed over from Memphis mm -hmm. and no doubt because they want to be in this path of totality. Mm -hmm. Anyone who has experienced it like Alejandra Hernandez, uh, you know, it's exciting. So you want to do that. Absolutely. Well, as we go to break, you're taking a live look at our solar cam just a few hours away from totality. My story isn't that different from a lot of people that grew up in a small town. My dream was always to play baseball, but as a kid, it's hard to prove yourself when you're so far away from the big leagues. When no one else thought I was good enough, our community did. From family to friends, coaches, and local businesses, my community built me into the player that I am today. And I'm just getting started. When you have the support of a community, anything is possible. First Community Bank, where community comes first. I'm John Morgan. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan, Pound Law, that's all. Here at Robertson Brothers Furniture, we have specials going on year round, like the Speed Queen washer and dryer that brings the quality of commercial laundry to your home, both built to last 25 years. Need a new mattress? Take advantage of our deals on your favorite brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Stearns & Foster. We have the widest selection of Lazy Bull recliners in stock with over 300 chairs available. 
So take the short drive to save huge at Robertson Mothers Furniture in Leachville and tell them Ford sent you. Arvest is partnering with over 80 local food banks, providing over 1 million meals through various fundraising initiatives. Together, we can help make a difference. One million meals at a time. The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 4. Watch Judge Judy, weekdays at 2. The Great American Eclipse is upon us. You're taking a live look at our solar cam just a little bit away from totality. Thank you for joining us. I'm Diana Davis. We've been waiting this for this for a long time. We sure have, Diana. And we've been out here for an hour now doing this coverage. We had that solar camera. Pretty soon, we're going to start seeing the moon creep over that shot. We're, we're not far from that. We're still about two hours from totality, just a little under, but you know, it, it's going to be really cool as we go it throughout this is. morning. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait because it's it's been talked about for years. Years. We've been doing coverage for at least a year at this point, and we've been talking about it, talking about it, and the day's here, Diana. We it's get here. to live some science, and it's awesome. We have crews all over Region 8. Chief Meteorologist Ryan Vaughn and Meteorologist Jace Passmore are in Paragold for Eclipse on the Ridge, and Meteorologist Aaron Castleberry is in Cherokee Village for another festival. And he's been there since about 4.30 this morning. We also have Maddie Sexton. She's out at Central Baptist Church in Jonesboro. She just got to eat a donut on TV. I got very jealous <laughs> of that. Of course, Macy Davis and Alejandra Hernandez are in Piggott. And then Hayden Savage and Rondasia Howard are in Pocahontas this morning. And no matter where you are this morning, or I guess, actually, Diana, it's officially afternoon. Yes. It's 12.01. we got to switch that verbiage now. Wherever <laughs> you are this afternoon, we want to see your pictures. We want to see your videos. You can submit those to us at any time through the See It, Snap It, Send It feature over on KAIT8.com and, of course, on the Kate News app. But first, as we get into this show, Diana, into the second hour of our Eclipse special, it's time to check in on the fun happening over in Paragold this morning. And that is where we find our very own Ryan Vaughn. And, Ryan, what all is going on there? I believe you're at the community center. I am at the Paragold Community Center here at the soccer fields, and uh, it is beautiful out here. I, you could not ask for better weather than what we have. It's warm. We've got just a few little cirrus clouds, but you can clearly see the sun. And I, I want to just make sure everybody is on the same page about the solar glasses. Here in about 37 minutes, we're going to start seeing the moon covering up the sun. And of course, that's when you wear the glasses and you look up at the sun. You wear these glasses and pretty much the sun it should be the only thing that you see. But you'll start seeing the moon go in front of the sun until totality at 155. Now, if you are in the path of totality, during that two and a half to four plus minutes, you can take these glasses off and look at the, the moon covering up the sun and see the entire corona. So that has surprised a few people that we've been talking to out here. They said, oh, well, we thought we had to keep them on the entire time. During totality, that, that short little period, you can take the glasses off. Now, something else you can do, you can take these glasses and put them over the lens of your iPhone, maybe tape them on there also, and take a picture if you want to, something else that you can do. But let's talk about the weather. So far, we've only had some cirrus clouds, which has been really, really nice. If you look at satellite and radar, you can see the rain is well down to our south. You zoom in on visible satellite. This is like taking a picture from space, and anything that's out there is really thin, cloud cover. Now, an hour by hour look shows that as we go toward totality, uh, we will still see mostly sunny skies and those temperatures close to 80. Now, Diana, a couple of tips. If you're about to come out here and join us to watch the eclipse out here at the Paragould Community Center, first, I've got glasses for you. Bring a blanket or chairs to come out here and bring some sunscreen because if you're just out here in the sun, it's pretty bright out here and also some water. <laughs> they have concession stands also though. Definitely yeah. the water. Now it Got surprises me about the blanket, blanket Ryan, because it's so warm. It is we getting are. very warm out here, Diane. I'm glad I'm wearing the hat. Oh, no, 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 no. It would just be sunburned. He said no. 
We need the blanket. Yeah, I just mean to sit on out here. Yeah, I'm oh, in the grass. Way too I warm understand. to cover up with a blanket. But you gotta have <laughs> no. that water this morning for sure. Yes, you need <laughs> no, to no, hydrate no. for sit sure. On. There we go. <laughs> we do also want to check in with Maddie Sexton, who's out in Jonesboro this morning. And Maddie, you needed some water after they that delicious donut that you warm had. Up so to. tell us about what's going on out there at Central Baptist. <laughs> Absolutely. I actually didn't wash that donut down with any water. Um, my dad actually just appeared out of nowhere and he was like, let me buy you a cup of lemonade. So um, he got me a blood orange lemonade from one of the food trucks here and it was delicious. But um, within the past hour, literally the amount of people that have um, shown up and found a spot has doubled. You can see the parking lot is now full and I haven't even been on the other side of the building yet or behind the building. I know they've got the pavilion and a playground back there. So I think we're going to make our way around there after this. Um, but yeah, like Ryan was saying, make sure if you're coming to any of these events, make sure you're bringing a picnic blanket to sit on or chairs. Um, it seems like everyone um, for the most part for the most part got that memo um, everyone is just posted up with their friends and their family they've got coolers they've got snacks um, lots of exciting stuff um, and I've been I assumed people would come here and maybe not have any Eclipse glasses I've been trying to give them out to people but everyone's like oh we've got plenty of glasses so um, if you do need any come find me and I'll get you all set and good to go um, but yeah super exciting stuff and I'll be here all morning Live in Jonesboro, Maddie Sexton, K8 News. Maddie, thank you so much, and I'm so appreciative that Maddie will take care of you with the glasses, we which we need so very much. We I think do. here in Jonesboro, uh, totality mm -hmm. is like two minutes, 27 mm -hmm. seconds. So for those two minutes, we you won't need the glasses, but the rest of the time, we definitely do. Yes, <laughs> yes, and now we go to our other meteorologist, Aaron Castleberry has been in Cherokee Village since early, early this morning, before the sun was even up. And Aaron, it looks like you got some kind of drink or, or something there. It looks like you enjoying yourself up there in Cherokee Village. I really hope you are. <laughs> I am enjoying myself. This is lemonade, and I'm fixing to have tacos in just a second. I am fixing to chow down, and this is some fantastic lemonade. Great for the temperatures. It is warm outside, but this lemonade cools you off a whole lot. A lot more people are starting to fill in to the festival. There's a lot of people from all over the world here in Cherokee Village this morning and this afternoon. We're not quite even into partial eclipse time yet. That's coming up pretty soon, but it's already starting to fill up. A lot of excitement starting to, starting to fill up. We have astronomers here from all over the world. We also have the Stranger Things Ferris wheel here. If y'all watch Stranger Things, y'all will recognize the Ferris wheel. It's here in Cherokee Village, Arkansas, y'all. If you have not gotten out or if you're trying to get somewhere this afternoon and you're close here to Cherokee Village, come on down to the Solar Eclipse Festival here right at the town center. You will not uh, be disappointed. We have a jumbotron for tonight. It's going to be a fantastic party out here for the rest of your day. You get great lemonade out here. The snow cone truck is here. We got all kinds of food and just something for everybody out here at the Solar Eclipse Festival. We'll bring you some more coming up in just a little bit. All right, thank you, Aaron. I'm starting to get jealous of all this, Diana. Donuts, the lemonade, lemonade. the tacos. We got the raw end of the deal <laughs> out here. All we have are these cups of water. That's all we got. I, I, I'm starting to feel ripped off here. <laughs> they need to bring some of that back to the Absolutely. station. We, and we, have, share. we have some snacks in there. Somebody bring some out here to the weather deck. We do want to go up north now where we have our Macy Davis and Alejandra Hernandez. They're in Piggott this morning, Diana. That's right. And another place that they've been working for weeks, months to get ready sure for have. this and so Macy what can you tell us from your vantage point there yeah that's right you guys were just talking about snacks there's snacks here too of course there's snow cones I think they have some other stuff going on some other different foods you can eat I think they have popcorn or something like that they have faint face painting going on they have some different games that you can come out and play so a lot of different excitement here at the museum here in Pickett and I wanted to talk to you guys about something that was really cool so there was a lady that we met earlier. She's from New Orleans, Louisiana, and she said that she went to West Memphis and that's where she started her day. And she said she was just gonna drive around and find a place where she thought the cloud cover was gonna be good and where it was gonna be a nice place to look at the eclipse. And so she came here to Piggott. She just said she drove around, didn't even hear of Piggott, Arkansas until she stopped here in the town and saw the events going on. She was like, you know what? 
I'm just gonna hang out here. I just wanna look at the eclipse here, which I thought was really cool. Another guy said, you know what? I'm just here for the vibes today. So I thought that was also, I'm also just here for the vibes. I think we're all here for the vibes today. And I think the vibes are gonna be really good. So coming up in a little bit, we're gonna talk to a NASA scientist. He was here, he spoke today at 11 and we're gonna hear what he has to say. He said that he talked about some, some different things that happened before the eclipse starts that are really cool to see. And so it'll be interesting to hear what he has to say about that. And we're gonna talk to some other people as well. So just a lot of excitement here. I know there's a lot of excitement over there as well in different places across Region 8. So we'll send it back to you guys for now. All right, Macy, thank you so much for that update. So many activities really and of course are. here, uh, you know, leading up to totality, mm -hmm. people are going to be able to start putting these sunglasses on and Pretty the moon soon. will take a larger and larger bite out of the sun and we're we'll about, be able to see that. It's about 30 minutes away from when we first start seeing the moon creep yes. over. So we're, we're getting really close now, Diane. It's I'm, I'm starting to get excited this morning. You know, looking <laughs> here though, it's so bright. It you, is. You really have to go, is this going to happen? <laughs> it's just so surreal. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think a lot of people have said about this whole experience. Now we're going to go to Randolph County where we have Hayden Savage and Rondasia Howard hanging out this morning. Absolutely. And Hayden, I know we talked about it last hour, but for the people just joining us, there's some crazy stuff going on over in Pocahontas. I won't spoil any of it. I'll, I'll let you uh, introduce all that for us. Well, Chase and Diana, thankfully Macy was able to spare some of that excitement from Pigott. It is starting to build here in Randolph County. So like we were talking about, there are actually going to be five different skydivers that are going to jump out of a plane when totality happens right here in Northeast Arkansas. That's cool in itself, but here's the other cool part. They said they intend to break state and national records. Is that not amazing? We're going to talk to them after that gets done. So make sure you tune in tonight. That's going to be so cool. But uh, we're going to get to watch it here at Pocahontas. Hopefully we get good footage of it. They also are wearing like uh, GoPros. That's the name of the devices. They're going to have them on their feet. You gonna have them on their chest. They're going to share that video with us. That is going to be so cool. Imagine jumping out of a plane whenever the eclipse is happening. That's like one in a million chances of happening. But anyway, so we're going to talk to them. That's going to be cool. I'm going to step out of the shot here and let you guys see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we've got about 10 different airplanes here at the uh, at the Pocahontas Airport. Traffic wise out on Highway 67, things are still, you know, I mean, they're busy out there, but it, it's nothing uh, serious right now. Thankfully, traffic has been, uh, you know, slowly moving. Here at the airport, they can hold about 60 planes, so we're not near that capacity mark yet, but they said they are getting closer by the a minute and uh, we're just looking forward to what's going to happen here in Pocahontas. Back to you guys. And then here in Jonesboro, they closed one of the runways to be able to park some of the planes yeah. that are coming in to watch this. Such an exciting time. Chase. No one jumping out of those planes though, Diana. No. That, that's all going to be <laughs> on you know on the ground feet on the ground kind of situation but you know as we talk about the eclipse I think it's interesting for us to talk about the science behind all of it so meteorologist Jace Passmore did a package a couple weeks ago breaking down all the science behind this special occasion in this special report uh, totality here will be just under three minutes and then the moon in its orbit will start to go past the face of the sun and we'll see sliver of light that gets ever increasingly larger. Total solar eclipses happen every year or two, but can only occur when there is a new moon. So if they happen yearly, why don't we see more? And why is our next one decades away? The answer, our planet is 70% water, so most eclipses occur over open oceans. David Neighbors has experienced multiple eclipses. Anything that you would expect to see at dusk, can, can happen. I mean, insects can start chirping, birds can start uh, roosting, uh, the temperature can become noticeably cooler. Not only will we see a change in temperature, once in totality, the sun will have a completely different look. Right. If you look at the edge of the sun, uh, or the edge of where the moon is covering up the sun, you can see prominences which look like flames uh, leaping off the sun. According to NASA, a solar eclipse is the result of a cosmic coincidence. Even though the sun is about 400 times bigger than the moon, it's also 400 times farther away. This makes the sun and the moon appear almost exactly the same size in our sky. On October 14th, we will experience an annular eclipse. 
Robert said due to the moon's orbit, the annular eclipse is connected to the total solar eclipse we will experience in April. The a annular eclipse, okay? And this is when the moon is at its furthest point in this, this, uh, this slightly elliptical um, uh, orbit. David Neighbor said this is something that you will not want to miss, but he did stress to make sure that you view the eclipse safely. April 8th of 2024. Uh, that's, people that have experienced a total solar eclipse will always remember that. It will be very dark. Approved glasses, solar eclipse glasses made for this purpose. And that was Jace Passmore reporting for us this morning. And as we mentioned, he's actually hanging out with Ryan in Paragould. We'll check out, check in with him and Ryan here in just a few minutes. But happening now in our eclipse coverage, we're going to take a look at your traffic out there. This is the delay map from idrivearkansas.com. Now, I can't personally see this. It's a little too far away, but <laughs> I know that we have had a few traffic issues, especially in Crittenden County at I-555 and the I-55 interchange. Some traffic was backed up there coming into Arkansas from Memphis. But we're going to keep an eye on that as we go throughout the show. We're also going to take a live look in Walnut Ridge now over in Lawrence County. You can see plenty of cars parked on the side of the street there. Traffic is moving just fine. It's picking up a little bit maybe. People going to wherever they are going to see that eclipse over in Lawrence County. I know they have a festival in that area. We heard from Mayor Charles Snap a little bit earlier in the show. But now we're going to take a live look over in Newport this morning. Again, not seeing really any any issues, but you see that blue sky with maybe a cloud or two here or there, but that's not going to be any problem when it comes to seeing that eclipse. This weather could not have been better today. Now let's take a look over at the Black Rock Bridge through the iDrive Arkansas camera. Again, traffic moving just fine. Might have froze up for just a second there, but uh, <laughs> I can't really tell. Again, we're, we're a little far away. There might be a little bit of a glare. We are outside after all. You got to love live television, but let's go ahead and take a look over in Hardy this morning as well. We're downtown is hoping to take advantage of tourists in the area. Hardy's always a big tourist area, but especially today, it's going to be a beautiful view of that eclipse up there in the Ozarks. And if you do have an awesome view of that eclipse today, we want to see your pictures. We want to see your videos and not just your pictures and videos of the eclipse itself. We want to see people enjoying these events. We want to see people enjoying the eclipse. It is perhaps a once in a lifetime opportunity. You can send us those pictures through the see it, snap it, send it page over on kata.com and always the K8 News app. You know, we were talking about hanging out up in the Ozarks and seeing some of the sites up there, having a lot of fun up in the mountains. I know that Aaron Castleberry has been up in Cherokee Village all throughout the day. He's having a good time, so we're going to check in again. Aaron, what is going on up there in Cherokee Village now? Man, the, we are just enjoying lunch right now here in Cherokee Village. I've gotten th these tacos. They're delicious. Oh, my goodness. That's just one of the several food trucks we have here in Cherokee Village right now. There are, you can get crawfish, you can get something that's an empanada and a burger. A, the, together, you've got snow cones and kettle corn and lemonade. You got everything you need here in Cherokee Village this morning. Fine, fantastic, fantastic event going on right now. We will continue to keep walking, looking at this as we keep going. For now, I'm live in Cherokee Village. All right, thank you so much, Aaron. I'm definitely jealous of the tacos. Like I said before, no food out here. I just have water. They need it. somebody in the studio. Bring me and Diana some food out here. <laughs> we do want to go ahead and check in with Ryan out in Paragould now. He's been out there hanging out with Jace Passmore all morning and into this afternoon now. I know that they're having a ton of fun out there. This is a live look at the sun right now. Not anything just yet. Not seeing that moon creep over just yet, but we are probably at this point about 20 minutes away from starting to see a little bit of that partial eclipse as we do wait for totality, which we still got a little bit before then. We're going to try to check in with Ryan real quick. I don't know. Well, I just lost 
Okay, I lost my ear, my, my earpiece for a minute just now. I quit hearing you, Jace, but or Chase. Uh, but uh, I tell you, I'm jealous. I was sitting there just listening to Aaron uh, with his kettle corn and, and all that stuff. Here's my main thing I need. I need sunscreen and I need water. That's what I have out here right now. My head right now is getting sunburnt, so we're ready for the sun to start getting covered up a little bit. Let's talk about those times a little bit because I've had a lot of people asking me about it. 1237 is when we're going to start seeing the sun being eclipsed by the moon. That's going to be like uh, Chase said uh, here shortly. We're going to see that take place. Uh, the maximum eclipse is going to be at 155. Now keep in mind that is when that you can take these solar glasses off and then as we go past that, you'll start seeing the backside of the eclipse. Let's talk about satellite. And you can see that all of the dark clouds, all the thick clouds are down to the south. We just have cirrus clouds moving overhead right now. And as we go through the overnight, uh, we will see those clouds thicken up well after the eclipse. Like I said, it's warm. We're at 80 degrees in Jonesboro, 77 in Paragold, 81 right now in Kennett. And the wind, not too big of an issue, about five to 10 miles per hour. So not bad weather at all. I mean, if you want to be really picky, we'd get rid of the cirrus clouds. But uh, if you're coming out here to the Paragould Community Center, there is a lot of grass laid out for you. And uh, I've been telling people best thing to do is probably get a blanket so you can lay down not to bundle up because it's warm out here and uh, they have concession stands over here, but you can bring a cooler and uh, make sure you stay hydrated with plenty of water and uh, the weather's cooperating here. Chase and Diana. All right, thank you, Ryan. And of course, it is feeling warm here, but uh, we're going to turn our attention to the weather camera in Batesville South Side. As you can see right there, a clear day, and we are oh so fortunate to have this opportunity because we worried for months and months about clouds, and then the heavens just opened up, and Couldn't it is for a prettier day, glorious. Could not we ask for a prettier love day. it, even if it is a little warm. And I believe right there in that area is Colton Stater from Lion College. And Colton, tell us about what you're seeing right now. Currently, it is an absolutely gorgeous day. We had a little bit of hazy clouds earlier, and it has completely cleared up. It is nothing but sunshine and high hopes for an eclipse to come. And even in the past 30 to 40 minutes, we have seen a surge of people on campus. We have a ton more. We probably have at least 30 to 40 hobbyists who have their telescopes set up on Couch Garden. We have packed demonstrations, our most recent uh, astrophotography demonstration, which showed people how to use their phones safely to take pictures of, you know, different celestial bodies and things like that was there wasn't sitting room, it was just standing. We have seen an incredible increase in traffic and it is probably one of the most I think we lost you for just a little bit there at the end there, Colton. But one, one thing that I did want to ask about last time we checked in, I heard those bagpipes in the background. I'm not hearing the bagpipes anymore. Are we, we gonna get some more of that music as we go throughout the afternoon? He, we definitely are. The bagpipes, they've been playing on and off. We've got them and a little bit more, um, some might say atmospheric music for uh, maybe some of the people who aren't as in touch with the bagpipes. Um, <laughs> but no, our pipers are out and about today. They're putting on shows. They're uh, meeting and greeting with pretty much everyone taking pictures. They're a lovely group of people. They play even better music. And they're, I mean, they're here. They're loud. You might, but... Uh, just to be Personally, I couldn't think of better atmospheric music than those bagpipes. It was some really nice ambiance earlier, but like you said, man, it's a beautiful day out there. So if people are over in the Batesville and Southside area, get out there because it's, it's going to be an awesome day. You guys are, are having a lot of fun out there, I can tell. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Colton, thank you so much for joining us. I think we might check in with you again here in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for chatting with us there. 
And now we've got a live look over in Pocahontas, and we had a quick look at Hayden Savage, who walked in front of the camera there. <laughs> Diana, I've done that so many times being out live in the field. I think I've done it for you in midday before. So There's uh, so <laughs> much that goes into bringing a production together like this, and a great deal of it has to do with communication. And we are in the communication business, but we're also juggling to make sure that you at home get the very best vantage point to watch this historical mm -hmm. event and everyone here at K8 is working so so hard this morning I mean, we've got a great team here with some great coverage including this shot over in Piggott this morning now Macy Davis and Alejandra Hernandez are up there in Piggott as you saw Hayden and Rondasia Howard are over in Pocahontas we've just got our whole team is out for the best coverage that you're gonna get of the great American solar eclipse right here Diana and, and else. the scientific aspect you know when this totality event happens you're gonna see these little crescent moons on the ground if you're lucky mm -hmm. and also the trees put out an unusual look and you can see what some people I think they referred to as shadow bands mm -hmm. and so that is something that is very unique a lot of people say it is the most weird <laughs> feeling because you know sunset is kind of 360 uh -huh. and Alejandra referred to some of that because she was uh, you know at the last totality mm -hmm. event and as we mentioned Carbondale Illinois was lucky because they've had two Absolutely. so you know it's a rare thing we want you to enjoy every aspect of it so we're gonna have more coverage straight ahead sounds good I don't think that these sessions are really working and which Julie am I speaking with firing your therapist is hard Hiring Morgan & Morgan for your injury is easy. Morgan & Morgan, the choice is easy. Welcome to Lucky's Mattress and Furniture Outlet, where we have the lowest prices on mattresses guaranteed. Did you say something about low-priced mattresses? Our king-size mattresses are as low as $2.99. And... There's more? We offer flexible financing. That's why we're the number one retailer in liquidation and overstock mattresses. Where'd you get that? Located next to Hobby Lobby. Lowest price, lowest price, lowest price. <sighs> we need some help. I know. I'm going to cashnetusa.com. And if approved, we can have the money in our account as soon as the same business day. Go to cashnetusa.com to apply for the money you need. When you're in a hospital, their goal is to get you home as soon as possible, but sometimes you may need extended specialized care. At Arkansas Continued Care Hospital, our facility is uniquely designed to provide long-term acute care to patients with complex medical conditions who require an extended hospital stay. We offer a smaller, personalized environment so we can focus our attention on providing the best patient experience and outcome. And we proudly partner with regional hospitals to serve patients with long-term acute care needs. Contact Arkansas Continued Care Hospital of Jonesboro for more information. We are counting down to totality. The Great American Eclipse is here. You're taking a live look at our solar cam just a little bit away from totality. In fact, Ryan just mentioned that at 1237, the process begins, and that's when you're going to need to put your glasses on, and you can look to see that ever so slightly the moon starts moving in front of the sun. Now for a look in Jonesboro, we can toss out to Maddie Sexton, who is joining us from a, 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 just a fun festival underway there at Central Baptist. Maddie, tell us all about it. Yeah, Diana, absolutely. So I've been out front of Central Baptist Church um, all morning. That's where the food trucks are. Um, they've got music playing out. That's where majority of the people are. And that front parking lot is pretty full, but you can see behind me, there's still plenty of room if people are at home 
or um, if people are at work and want to swing by on their lunch break, we've got food, we've got music, and there's plenty of space to still park your car, bring the family, bring the friends, bring your chairs to view the total solar eclipse. Um, right here, I'm under like an awning. I'm in the shade. It is pretty warm. It's sunny. So come on out. They've got free water. They're giving out free glasses, and I'll have more of those details coming up. Live in Jonesboro, Maddie Sexton, K8 News. Maddie, thank you so much. Now we have a live look from Paragould right now. It is a sunshiny day and warming up. Ryan will have an update here in just a few minutes, but you can see our solar cam right there. You're going to have a bird's eye view of everything happening right here in Region 8. And right now we're going to check in with Macy Davis, who is in Paragould. Macy, what can you see from there? Yeah, that's right, Diana. We're actually in Pigott right now, and I'm with Les Johnson. He is a NASA scientist, and you were here in Pigott today talking a little bit about the eclipse, a lot of really cool stuff happening today. This is your first time in Arkansas, right? It is our first trip to Arkansas. I've never been here before. I was really excited to be invited by the Historical Society and get to speak at uh, Arkansas State. I uh, went down to Dice, uh, Johnny Cush is home, and now I'm in Pigot. This is great. Yeah. It's going to be a good day. Yeah, now you're in Pigot. So why did you choose Pigot? Well, actually, I didn't choose Pigot. They chose me. <laughs> uh, when they invited me to come speak about the eclipse, they wanted to make sure that I got to speak in different places, talk to as many different people as possible, and put me in a location that was, A, pretty, and would have a good duration of the totality for the eclipse. So here we are. So here we are. Apparently, Pigot is where it's at. It's where it's going to be really cool. And so we want to talk about some things that maybe people don't know about the eclipse. You know, we've been constantly talking about the eclipse, eclipse this and that, and what people can expect. Is there anything that's maybe not commonly talked about? Well, yeah, there sure is. Right about a minute before totality, before it gets totally dark, as the light is bending around the edge of the moon and going into some valleys, the moon, the moon has mountains, right? Mm -hmm. And so some of the light will be going through those valleys as the mountaintops are starting to block the light. And that makes a shadow pattern on the ground. So if you have a white sheet or white blanket or white tablecloth, put it out and about one minute before the sky goes totally dark look down and you should be able to see I've never seen them I'm looking forward to this these little squiggly lines that are called shadow bands and some people say it looks like little fake snakes going on the ground so I've got my white sheet and I'm ready to go okay got your white sheet and you're ready to go is there anything else that you think people need to know about the eclipse they do you're, you're if you're in totality you're gonna see uh, uh, things on a scale that we're not used to seeing uh, when the Sun is totally dark and only if it's totally dark it's safe to take off your eclipse glasses and you'll see what's called the corona of the Sun it's the outer atmosphere and you'll see these loops that stick out from the Sun that you can't see normally and it's important to remember that those are enormous mm -hmm. you can put maybe a dozen earths in each of those oh, wow. loops because because the sun, you could put over a million Earths in the sun, but it's so far away, it appears the size of a quarter, and these loops you see during totality are big enough to put several Earths in those as well. Wow, that is absolutely crazy. It's so crazy that we're going to be able to see something of this magnitude today. So we're going to slather on some sunscreen, and we're going to stick it out here a little bit longer. We'll send it back to you guys. Thank you so much for that, Macy. Definitely need the sunscreen yes. this morning, Diana. Thankfully, I have the hat or the top of my head would be <laughs> blistered by now, even with the sunscreen. But the weather, even though it is a little warm, is, is really beautiful. We yes. couldn't ask for a better day out here, Ryan. Yeah, it is. It's gorgeous out here, you know. We've had a few cirrus clouds coming in, but you know, the sun is shining right through those cirrus clouds. So uh, a lot of the, uh, you know, really fine tuned things that you see during that totality, it'll be interesting to see how the cirrus clouds play into that. But I think we're going to be doing pretty good. Now, Jace, you're, you're a science and weather geek like myself. Uh, you did not see 2017. So what are you looking forward to on this? I'm just looking forward to the darkness. You yeah. know, as you said, you get out in an open area, look all the way around. It's like uh, a sunset all the way around. Also looking forward to the temperature drop, the wind shift, and uh, just being able to see that corona around the sun. It's it's something I've been looking forward to because, like you said, I didn't get to experience the 2017 one. Yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool to see. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the crickets start, the insects start making noises. So uh, it's going to be really neat. And you start seeing that as we get a little closer to totality. 
totality. Quick check on the weather right now. You can see satellite radar still showing that we are looking good. Just a few cirrus clouds coming in right now. As we go through the evening hours, we will start to see the clouds thicken up. Temperatures right now, we're at 80 degrees in Jonesboro, 77 in Perigold, 81 in Kennett. So it is warm, sunny and warm right now. So drink lots of water if you're going to be outdoors this afternoon. And don't forget the sunscreen. Some very wise words, thank you. And we are back out right now checking in with our very own meteorologist, Aaron Castleberry in Cherokee Village. And the last I, I noticed, Aaron had found a lot of food. <laughs> There's a lot to eat there, right, Aaron? I did, Diane. Right, Diana. Right now, also, I brought in some astronomers with us here, some astronomers from across not just the United States, but from the world. We have Will Emerson and Brad. Will, tell me where you're from. I'm from Moab, Utah. Oh, Utah? I'm from Brazil. Brazil? Houston. And Houston. So we got North America and South America covered. So tell us, why, why are you expecting today? What are you expecting here in uh, Cherokee Village? Well, um, it looks like the weather's amazing. We got really lucky today. And um, the thing I'm most looking forward to is seeing the corona around the sun when it's completely covered by the moon. And um, we brought binoculars to do that, but we also brought a, a telescope with some very fancy solar filters so that we can look at the sun as the moon covers it. That's awesome. I, that's what I'm looking forward to, seeing that crown. I didn't get to see it in 2017, but I, I'm going to see it this year. Emerson, you're coming from Brazil. So how is it coming all the way up here for this? Well, I'm so excited because this is my first, my first solar eclipse ever. And, you know, I can't wait to see the corona, too. It's everything very exciting for me. And Brad, me and Brad have something in common. We both went to Mississippi State, but you come up here just uh, to, uh, to be the eclipse, too, right? Yeah, I came up here, you know, original plan was for Dallas, but, you know, following the weather very closely, you know, start doesn't look nearly as good, but here it was looking a whole lot better, so I decided to say we're just going to make the long trip, <laughs> and it looks like it's paying off, too. Hey, it's, it's fantastic. Some high cirrus clouds out here today. Well, I know y'all want to get back over to y'all section because the partial is about to begin, but thank you for talking with me. Welcome to Cherokee Village, Arkansas, and I hope y'all have a great experience today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope it's going to be fantastic out here, Diane and Chase. Back to y'all. That looks like just they're having a ton of fun up there. Yes. So nice. Perfect day. It really is. We're having fun here <laughs> on the weather deck as well. But now we do want to head over to Randolph County. They are also in totality today. So we're going to head over to Savage. 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 So a lot going on up there. It's getting a little loud behind you as well. What, what's going on in Pocahontas right now? Well, the, the jet is actually just cooling down. It just landed right behind me here, actually just parked. It landed just a few minutes ago. We're up to about 10, 15 airplanes here around the, uh, the Pocahontas Airport. Looking really good so far. Traffic doing all right. Here's the cool thing. The eclipse is cool. It's going to be cool everywhere that, you know, is able to see totality. Here's the cool thing about Pocahontas, though. The eclipse is happening, but also there's going to be skydivers jumping out of planes here whenever totality happens. That's another cool thing. But then there's more. They're trying to break state and national records just by doing, I, I'm not sure on the specifics of, you know, what exact record they're breaking, but they said it's going to be pretty cool. So we're going to talk to them after that happens. Uh, Rondasia is actually over there right now checking out their stuff. They are, I believe, let me look at the time here, 12.37. So they're getting ready right now. 1 o'clock is whenever the prep starts, and then 12, uh, 1.30, excuse me, is whenever they plan on going up in the air and getting out. So uh, we're looking forward to a good time here in Pocahontas. A good time already happening, though. I went over and talked to the folks sitting on the bleachers. There's people here from Florida, Gainesville, Florida. You heard them earlier in the show. There's also people here from... Uh, I believe it was Wyoming. And we've also got locals here that are just watching the eclipse. Pocahontas Airport has a great view. Uh, you know, it, it's very open out here. There's lots of space. So if you need a place to watch the eclipse, the yard out front to the right, to the side, you can watch the planes take off and land and everything else. That's going to be cool. And then you can also watch the skydivers coming out of the sky, too. So that's going to be spectacular. But like I said, 1230, you know, their, their preps and talks and everything are going on right now. One o'clock, the real work begins. And then 1.30, they're going to get up in the sky and, and go away. But uh, <clears throat> I talked to uh, Scott Balls, the fire chief here in Pocahontas, and he told me they're not uh, seeing the traffic they really expected, neither this weekend, this past weekend, or today. They said things have been kind of calm, which is a good thing. But uh, out on Highway 67 here, semis, regular traffic really is all we're seeing right now. No backup traffic or anything like that. So going pretty well here in Pocahontas. Back to you guys. Thank you, Hank.
It sounds like so much fun up there, Diana. They got so much cool stuff going on. Thank you so much for that, Hayden. Meanwhile, our national team is also tracking the Great American Eclipse this morning. Or I keep saying this morning, Diana. That's that's a habit. <laughs> You're used I, to I'm doing that. I'm on the that. morning show. I'm never even awake <laughs> this late in the day. So uh, this afternoon they're tracking that. That's right. And <laughs> we have stations all over the path. And there is more from local news live where we're going to join in progress for just a few minutes. We're also ready to look at the eclipse, of course, with our safe wear. Heatwave said this was perfectly fine, so we trust him with our life, right, Heatwave? <laughs> when it comes to the eclipse. I just want to mention <laughs> one thing, if, if there's a, a moment. I, I can't believe how accurately we can forecast these eclipses now, down to the second, down to almost the foot of accuracy. Back in 1925, they came within four seconds and 14 city blocks of where it was going to be. No computers then. Now we know exactly. Four minutes and 32 seconds here in Eagle Pass. We'll toss it back to you and we will have the coverage later. Oh my gosh, you guys are excited. You're us together. Both of you so smart about everything that is going on there. Thank you so much for our station KGNS and put those glasses on soon. Yeah, make sure you have them handy. <laughs> exactly. So Poplar Bluff, Missouri is a popular place to be today. People there are gathering to see the sun disappear behind the moon and experience the night sky in the afternoon. It's going to be a sight to see the city organize park cleanups, shuttles and more in order to prepare for this big day. And that's where we find Joe McLean from our state KFBS. Hey Joe, what's going on behind you there? Well, a lot. It's been a big celebration all day, really all weekend. As you mentioned, uh, th as the city, as the local chamber of commerce, as local organizations, businesses, they had you know, a long time because we knew this was coming. Eclipses are very, uh, very easy things to predict as long as humans have been watching the sun. So we knew this was coming. That gave uh, people a lot of time to prepare. I want to show you uh, the, the, some of the activity that's going on behind me. Down the hill from where I'm at right now is uh, the campus of uh, Poplar Bluff High School. So I'm just going to pan really quick and you can see bouncy houses. I haven't had a chance to jump on there yet, but it uh, looks fantastic. There's food vendors. There's uh, uh, there's souvenirs. I picked up a shirt uh, that said, I got mooned in Poplar Bluff. Fantastic. Uh, hilarious pun there. Um, but you can see the amount of people. This is a very, as you said, popular spot. It's called Poplar Bluff, not Popular Bluff, but it is popular today uh, because this is a uh, in the path of totality, but it's also near the middle of the path of totality. And that means you get a couple extra seconds of, uh, of, that, of that complete totality of the eclipse coming up. So four minutes and eight seconds is how long uh, uh, Poplar Bluff is going to be experiencing the complete uh, 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 total eclipse. We did see uh, uh, around in 2017, it just looks like a few minutes of just dusk. And so uh, we're also here with uh, the State Emergency Management Agency is uh, managing resources for this huge influx of tourists. Uh, so we're going to be watching this and uh, we will uh, obviously continue Continue to cover this and uh, watch uh, as we all sort of unite in this astrological event when everybody looks in the same direction up. <laughs> Back to you. Hey, Joe. I and we'll have more national coverage as we go right. throughout this show, Diana. But it's time. It's time to put on I these know. glasses. There's not much going on, but you can start you to can see, see it. just the little, a tiny sliver oh. of the moon blocking out the sun. Covering the sun. Yeah, it's starting. And Put these on and <laughs> Definitely. I don't mean look up. When I got seriously injured by an 18-wheeler truck, I knew I needed Team NST. At NST, we know trucking law to help you get paid. NST Truck. At Nahan Saharovich and Trots, we work to get you lots. We need some help. I know. I'm going to cashnetusa.com. And if approved, we can have the money in our account as soon as the same business day. 
Go to CashNetUSA.com to apply for the money you need. Welcome to the newly remodeled China Buffet. Come check out our beautiful new hibachi bar and our sushi bar. Our delicious buffet features frog legs on Friday and Saturday nights. We also offer a variety of Chinese, Japanese, and American cuisine, including seafood, sushi, and fresh salad bar. And all of our desserts are homemade, and many of them are sugar-free as well. If you're looking for the best buffet in town, look no further than the China Buffet on Caraway in Jonesboro. Whether you want to travel far from home or stay in your own backyard, there's always time to take a road trip. Join Shadrach's Coffee and K8 as we set out to find the best destinations for the whole family to explore. Beautiful parks, interesting museums, and delicious eats. We're hitting the road and getting the inside scoop on all the most interesting places to visit. Take a road trip. Go to KAIT8.com or watch on K8 now. Sponsored by Shadrach's Coffee. The great American eclipse has begun. There is so much excitement. You're seeing right there on your screen our solar cam. And if you look, you can see just a tiny sliver being bitten out by the moon because the moon is ever so slowly going to move across the sun. And this is the time that if you want to look at it, you need to put your eclipse glasses on. Do not stare at the sun. We Do never want to stare at the sun. Just never stare at the sun, especially not today, Diana. But if you have those glasses, it's time to look up there. Yes. You can start to see it. It's so cool. It, it's We've been on air now at this point for an hour and 45 minutes waiting for this. And it's finally starting. And, you know, Ryan is out in He's Paragol. He's so excited, I don't too. think <laughs> anyone is more excited about the start of the eclipse than Ryan Vaughn. So, Ryan, how's your excitement level right now? <laughs> Uh, you know, someone reminded me a couple of days ago that I made a graphic talking about this day 10 years ago and on my Facebook memories five years ago, I talked about how big of a day this is going to be. You know, uh, talking about just people being here and not being here, we've got people kind of scattered about uh, through the soccer fields here, but there hasn't been a huge surge of people yet. We're just now starting to get people come in and bringing blankets out to lay out on the soccer fields to kind of have a nice open place, but it's not crowded here. And I can see Highway 49. I mean, yeah, there's more cars than usual, but but it's nothing crazy. In fact, I uh, talked with some of the uh, paramedics and uh, the police here, and they said everything's going really, really smooth. But did just put on my solar glasses and look up and did see that it has started, which even that is completely just very cool. But you just wait. It's going to be incredible here at 155 for those in totality. Now, let's take a look at the Eclipse Outlook. Uh, we've got it almost pegged out. We're, 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 we're getting very, very confident that we're going to be just fine for the Eclipse. Uh, let's talk about the times. 1237 is when it started, so we're sitting at 1246 now. So we're about 10 minutes into the Eclipse, and uh, you'll see that it's already starting to get um, um, you know, eroded away or kind of bitten away. Somebody made a, a context to a, a cookie being eaten. Uh, 155 is going to be totality, and I can't stress enough the difference between 99% and 100%. It's literally the difference between night and day. And for those that have not seen it, uh, you're in for a treat. All right, thank you, Ryan. You know, it's so surreal because as he mentioned, We've been talking about this uh -huh. for a very long time and to put these on for the first yeah. time and look up and see that there little bite out of, out of the sun. If it, if it is a bite out of a cookie, <laughs> Diane, it's not any bite I've ever taken out of a cookie. It's it's too small right yes. now. But. Maddie Sexton, she has a great vantage point amongst a whole lot of friends at Jonesboro Central <laughs> Baptist. Uh, Maddie, tell us what you can see from there. Yeah, absolutely, Diana. Right now, I'm with Pastor Bobby Cole, and what are you thinking of the turnout so far here this morning at Central Baptist? We are very excited about the turnout. I tell you, when we had prayed this through, we had no idea how many would come out today. We have uh, things for families, we have games, uh, and a lot of the local food vendors came out and they've offered up the food trucks for us. So something for everybody. Absolutely, there's so many people from states away. So how does it make you feel that all of these outer towners are right here on the property getting to view this eclipse 
um, right here at Central Baptist. I tell you, that was humbling. I met folks this morning from Florida, Virginia, even as far as Minnesota that drove in for this event. And you know, we, we've been blessed with this facility and uh, we were just uh, praying through like, how could we use this as a way to give back provide a safe place for families, individuals, just to come out and celebrate this Eclipse event together. Absolutely, and y'all are giving away some free essentials. So tell me about um, a little bit about these free glasses people can Yes, get. we sure are. We have several pair, thousand pairs of Eclipse glasses. We have free bottle water, uh, pretty much anything you need if you come out. There's still plenty of time, so just come to the main entrance, right up here to the porch columns, and we'll take care of you. Absolutely. Not only is there plenty of time, there's also still, um, like on the other sides of the building, there's still plenty of parking spaces, so there's plenty of room for more people to come in as well. Definitely. Hey, if you come, we will make a place for you. Just come on out and join us today. Absolutely. And tell me a little bit about, um, I've been seeing like security walking around. I know there's some JPD on site, so tell me about why you wanted to kind of do that. Yes, uh, we had several, uh, several go to church here, and so that's a blessing to have officers here. But they volunteered their time. Several came out and just wanted to assure anyone that came that this would be a safe place to bring their children, families of all generations, to come out and celebrate this time together. Absolutely. Make sure everyone stays safe yes. here today. And I'll have more coming up. Live in Jonesboro, Maddie Sexton, K8 News happening now in our eclipse coverage a look at your traffic this is the delay map from idrivearkansas.com and you can probably see those delays a bit better than i can because <laughs> i am outside battling the sun there's a bit of a glare out there <laughs> diana it's a little but, rough out here <laughs> but we have been hearing that the interchange leading over from i-55 to i 555 to Jonesboro had been a bit crowded earlier, no doubt from people who decided at the last minute, mm -hmm. hey, I think I want to go over into totality and they headed out oh, probably a little last minute. <laughs> <laughs> now we have a live look from Walnut Ridge in Lawrence County. Look, you can see that blue sky. They have a festival in that area happening right now. We've been talking about it all morning and a live look at Newport and still clear sky with some a puffy little, little cirrus clouds as Ryan mentioned uh, earlier. And this is a look at the Black Rock Bridge through idrivearkansas.com. No real travel problems throughout our area. And finally, a live report out of Hardy where downtown is hoping to take advantage of the tourists in the area and there are many. There really are, Diana. I know that there are tourists all over Region 8 and you know, there's always tourists over in Hardy and up in the Ozarks. The Ozarks are going to be an absolutely gorgeous place to, to see now. to see this eclipse and up in the Ozarks somewhere over in Cherokee Village is where we're going to find our meteorologist Aaron Castleberry. I think we're going to have his shot here in just a second, but Aaron, if you can hear me, I know that you've been having a lot of fun meeting with some astronomers up there, getting some lemonade, all kinds of good stuff. So. Maybe we'll have Aaron, maybe we won't. You gotta love live TV, <laughs> Diana. You gotta, you gotta roll with the punches as they come and go. Oh, do y'all have me? Do y'all have me? Because I can hear you at least. All right, let's talk about the, what we have going on in Cherokee Village right now. We are setting here, we have a festival going on. We got the live music here at the Solar Eclipse Festival here in Cherokee Village. I, even some homemade art from a boy named Marshall selling this along with his grandmother and, and her and his family selling other things a lot to buy around here the food the food is fantastic and we start to look up towards the sun you put on the solar glasses and you can start to see the little chunks being nibbled out of the sun by the moon starting to look at the colander not seeing too many of those half moons yet but there's still just a little bit of the moon that is cut out hopefully here in the next 10 to 15 minutes we'll be able to see more and more on the colander here but hey i got solar eclipse glasses and that works even better you look, can look up at the sun and you can see the partial beginning i can't wait for totality we'll have more here from cherokee village coming up in just a little bit
can plot that. I was told earlier that you need to write down what the temperature is right now because that is going to change mm -hmm. once totality happens. So just for the scientific aspect, write down what the temperature is in your area and, and see how much it changes. I'm looking forward to it because it's hot out here, Diane. Yes. It's, it's, it's starting to <laughs> starting to get a little warm. We're cooking just a little bit. <laughs> just a little yeah. bit, but we'll, we'll make it. <laughs> we head on over now to Randolph County where we have Hayden Savage and Rondasia Howard hanging out and visiting with the crowds. Hayden. So, Diana, we, uh, we've got a good crowd building here in Randolph County. I've got Fire Chief Scott Balls here beside me. Just talk about, you know, over the weekend and, and today, how's it been so far? Is it kind of what you're expecting or maybe a little bit less? It, it's less than what we were expecting. Uh, but, you know, you prepare for the worst, and, and, it, and the, the other part makes it a breeze. But everything's going well. Uh, we got good crowds. Uh, it, it is starting to, you know, cover now. Uh, we're uh, we're just waiting for, for the total total eclipse so after you know eclipse is over you know totality is over and people start to go home what's the game plan there i know things are going to get busy it, it's going to get busy we've already had one pretty major accident up here this morning we had to extricate a deal uh, but we're going to have uh, trucks on main highways main thoroughfares out we're going to keep the traffic moving and, and uh, everything should be good very good so uh y'all are going to have different station along that's just to kind of help people i mean like break down stuff like that or i mean if there is a, a serious accident y'all are just right there at it yes we'll, we're going to have you know folks out there with first aid equipment oxygen gas extra extra stuff in case they need it uh shouldn't be an issue but you know if, if it does happen we'll be ready so uh kind of a, a lighter topic here something cool is going to happen here in Pocahontas hopefully a record-breaking deal talk about how special that is for that to happen here uh, it's it's really special we've got uh, five skydivers that are going to jump during the total total eclipse and uh, they're supposed to break a couple records I'm not sure just exactly what those records are but they're they say they're gonna break them so we're we're excited for them so talk about uh, so far how we are capacity wise here at the I know there's not maybe a specific number but I know you can hold about 60 planes you're about maybe a third of the way there is what I've heard we are about a third of the way and and uh, you know it, it's we are a small airport I think Walnut Ridge has quite a few more which is good for them uh, but we've we've got a good crowd here and, and uh, we're just waiting for the excitement. The last part, talk about how big this is, you know, for, for business. I'm in business for the airport alone, but, you know, the people running down to the barbecue joint or the people running down to Walmart or Burger King. I mean, that's big for, for businesses here in Pocahontas. It is. Over across the river, they were coming off the court square like in droves. I mean, you know, it, it's uh, in Walmart and, and all the stores, you know, it's it's really, it's an economic boost. It really is. All right. Scott Baltz, Fire Chief here in Pocahontas. Diana and Chase, we're getting ready. We're excited and we'll send it back to you. Oh, it sounds amazing where you are. A historical day for sure. You were telling us Timing wise, we are one hour Never. now from totality. If you have those glasses, go ahead and go up there and look at the sun. It's starting to you cover it up. It. We have our solar camera. If we can pull that up, you're, you're going to be able to start to see the moon really taking yeah. over. We've got one more hour until that is completely covered, Diane. I and, can't wait. And Chase, you know, as it gets darker, our eyes switch to what we call rod cells. You okay. remember in school, rod, rods and cones, remember that? A little bit, yeah, yeah. just a little bit. <laughs> and, and this allows us to see better during low light. And so due to this, the only colors that the cells can pick up well are blue green hues. That's interesting. So people who are like you and me, uh -huh. we're wearing blue. Okay. So you, those are the colors that people will see well, but you will notice a difference in your ability to see because gradually, it's ever so gradual, uh -huh. it will start to get darker and and our eyes are trying to adjust. That's so cool. So there's another little sign. You learn something thing. every day, you know, <laughs> you know. But again, if you have those glasses, now don't look up there without the glasses. Definitely no, don't, but if you don't. have them, it's time to put them on and look up there. Ryan was saying it looks like a cookie with a bite taken out of it. And it, it does, like I was saying, Diane, I've never taken that small of a bite out of a cookie though. I mean, we're <laughs> Usually cookies don't last very no, long. No, <laughs> exactly. So not any, not any cookies I've ever eaten, but that is what it's starting to look like. And it is so exciting so because cool. less than an hour, we mm -hmm. will be in totality and it Absolutely. won't last long. So make sure you don't fiddle with your phones too much. Look, Absolutely. look up and take it all in. We'll have we'll more have coverage in just a few minutes. Stay with us. When it's time for new appliances, Tucker's Appliance in Jonesboro has what you need when you need it.
You can get these appliance packages today or choose from our built-in appliances like wall ovens, cooktops, and microwaves. Shop Tucker's Appliance today and save. My name is Tim Leith. I was sitting at a red light out of nowhere. I just got rear-ended. I reached out to Morgan & Morgan directly from the scene. It was incredibly simple to get the process started. I never actually had to physically set foot into Morgan & Morgan. You can literally do everything from your cell phone. I was able to get emails, text messages. Morgan & Morgan got my initial offer 10 x and I never even got a check. I just got a direct deposit into my bank account. It's so easy. Hey, Arkansas, the Powerball jackpot is over $900 million and growing. Get in on the action with your favorite lottery app, jackpot.com. The easiest way to buy Powerball, Mega Millions, and official state lottery games right from your phone. And hey, now you get a free ticket with your first order. You choose your favorite lottery game, pick your lucky numbers, get a verified scan of your printed ticket to view on your phone. Get notified instantly when you win. Never miss another jackpot. Download the jackpot.com lottery app today. Use promo code jackpot and get a free lottery ticket with your first order. When you need appliances, we have them at Tucker's Appliance in Jonesboro. Here you've got local specialists that can help you choose from a huge in-stock selection, like these refrigerators, laundry sets, and stoves. Shop Tucker's Appliance today and save. K8 News, live, local, now. Welcome back. We're now in the 1 p.m. hour of the Great American Eclipse extended coverage. Diana, we're less than an hour away from totality now. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I am Chase Gage. And I'm Diana Davis. And it is the day we have all been talking about, we have been looking forward to, and our entire staff is all working today. They're all over Region 8, and we have guest appearances too. That's right. <laughs> Ryan is in Paragould and Aaron has live reports from Cherokee Village. They are both at festivals underway for the big day. Plus, we've got Macy and Piggott, Maddie's in Jonesboro, and someone that you can't see right now, but Hayden, who has a very, very unique story going on up in Pocahontas. We're going to get to all of those stories soon enough, but we do want to start out by checking in on the fun over in Paragould and all the weather. The <laughs> And it's, it's a perfect day out here for the eclipse. It, it really be is better. Ryan is there and you know there was a lot of pressure on Ryan leading up to this big day <laughs> as to whether he could get that forecast tuned in and right now I believe Jace is standing by to bring us up to date. Hi Jace, Jace. Give us the good news man. Yeah, hey, hey, Diana, hey, Chase. The good news is the solar eclipse is starting, and as you can see, people are starting to fill in here uh, at the community center in Paragold, and the weather is cooperating. It's very comfortable temperature-wise. Uh, me and Ryan were just talking. We can actually start to kind of feel the changes, and taking a look at satellite and radar, notice those showers and storms through uh, Mississippi, but just some high-level cirrus clouds. That shouldn't affect us too much uh, once we start getting towards totality, which is in about 57 minutes, give or take. You can see on visible satellite uh, those thicker clouds back into southern Tennessee. Uh, but here we're just dealing with these upper level cirrus clouds, not really uh, causing much of an issue. And as I said earlier, temperature is very comfortable. Check this out. We're at 80 in Jonesboro, 78 in Paragould. We're at almost uh, 85 in Pocahontas. So upper 70s, low 80s uh, as we go into the uh, towards the solar eclipse. Now you can see here the solar eclipse. Once it begins, once to, once we reach totality, uh, you'll be able to see some planets: Saturn, Mars, Venus, Jupiter. We also have a comet, but uh, that might be a little tough to see uh, with these high-level cirrus clouds. But it's still worth looking out for Chase and Diana. Did this all right? Thank you, Chase. 
It's starting to get really awesome, Diana. We, we just had the glasses on while, while Jace was looking there. If you look up, you're really starting to see that bite taken out of the sun. We do want to take some time to check in with Maddie Sexton, who's joining us from Jonesboro this morning. So, Maddie, I know you've been having a lot of fun over at Central Baptist. What are you up to now? Absolutely. Well, Chase, I just um, whipped out my solar eclipse glasses and I looked up at the sun and like I think I heard you just say it seriously looks like there was a bite taken out of the sun so stuff is already happening it's super cool to see I can't imagine what it's going to look like once it's completely covered but yes people are still flooding in here I just spoke with a pastor here at Central Baptist and he is he um guess that there were about 700 people here. There's still room, there's still food that needs to be um, eaten, and there's lots of fun happening here. Um, people have gotten their families and their friends out with chairs all over the lawn. So if you are home and you're looking for some fun to have today, come on out to Central Baptist, and I'll have more details coming up. Live in Jonesboro, Maddie Sexton, K News. Maddie, thank you so much. It's fun and it's history. It really is. Diana. In the making, really. All it's, right. I, I'm having a lot of fun out here. I, I'm a little jealous of our reporters, <laughs> With you know, the food. get to have the food and the lemonade and the live interviews. But Diana, we're having fun right here on the weather deck. Too, yes. So. And we're getting a, a bird's eye view. We've been looking at the sun and it's amazing. We we now want to check in with another meteorologist who's been watching all of this unfold. That's right, Diana. Aaron Castleberry has been in Cherokee Village since well before the sun even came up this morning. I know he's having a blast out there. Aaron, the eclipse is starting to get underway. How much fun is that festival right now? Oh, we are having a fantastic time out here right now here in Cherokee Village. There is all sorts of people out. Everybody's starting to turn up. You can see people out here just enjoying the sun, and also they're now turning up towards the sun, looking at the eclipse. It is just an awesome, awesome sight out here right now. We have live music going on. We have great food, and even after the eclipse, you can come and watch the basketball game, the national championship game, on a uh, on a jumbotron. And my photographer Charles right now, he is just having a great time with a lady telling him dad jokes. We just have all types of stuff going on out here right now. We will continue to bring you everything. Dad joke book. She gave me, she, you want to tell the, tell the dad joke on TV. Which one? Pick one. Um, let me see. Why did the octopus blush? I don't know. Because it saw the ocean's bottom. <laughs> That's the kind of fun we're having out here this afternoon, and we're getting so close to totality. Everybody's in a great mood. We'll bring you more from Cherokee Village in just a little bit. We could turn Aaron into a stand-up meteorologist. I'll tell you what, Diane, really good. I, I love a good, bad joke like that. that. That is so awesome. That's right up my alley. If you've ever watched Good Morning Region 8, I love a bad pun. Like and or a all the puns. Bad dad joke. Yeah, absolutely. That is awesome. Well, now we go up north where we find Macy Davis and Alejandro Hernandez live in Piggott. And you know, nobody knows and hates my jokes more than <laughs> Macy Davis. So that, that's, a, that's a perfect transition to you guys in Piggott, Macy. That really was. <laughs> that really was the perfect transition, Chase. You know I hate your dad jokes, can't stand them, and the puns, the puns are really bad. I was just using my uh, solar eclipse glasses just now because the, the sun has, the things are happening. The eclipse is happening. The moon is kind of going in front of the sun, and so I, I put them on, and I was trying to look, and everyone has been looking here in Pickett. There's a lot of excitement surrounding what's going on right now, and even though it's not dark yet, it's still really cool to see kind of the, the gradual changes that are going to happen over time between now and and that moment of totality. And so everyone has been having a really good time talking about that. We're still just talking to the people that are coming through here and coming to the museum. That's where all these events are happening. So they have some face painting going on. There's some food and different events here. There are firefighters that are here hanging out. They have the trucks and the flags flying here. So it's, it's a lot of fun and everyone is just, it's kind of like high anticipation and high excitement surrounding the total solar eclipse. And so we're going to continue monitoring this. We're going to continue talking to people from out of state and seeing just why they came to Pigot, Arkansas. And so for now, we'll send it back to you. 
All right, so much planning and now it all mm -hmm. comes together. It really is all this work we've been putting in for some people, you know, years at this yes. point. Right? And it's all, if you look up right now, it's, it's, it's starting, happening. we're almost there. We're at this point, it is 107, we're like 50 it's minutes. It's moving along. 50 minutes from totality. We're moving along to Randolph County where we have Hayden Savage and Ron Deja Howard looking at everything happening from that vantage point. Hayden. Yeah, hey, Diana and Chase. It's like the uh, the Michael Scott quote. It's happening. It's happening. It really is happening here in Pocahontas. Uh, everybody over here on the uh, the bleacher side have got their glasses out. They're looking at it. It's just getting, I mean, right there where it's starting to cover. So it's starting to look cool here in Pocahontas. We've got some cool stuff that's about to happen in the next few, you know, minutes. We uh, and, and Within the hour, we're going to see the eclipse happen. We're going to have those people skydive while the eclipse is happening. And then they're hoping to break state and national records. So that's going to be something really cool here in Pocahontas. They've also got food out here and people are just having a good time in general talking with each other. There's actually a group of folks from uh, out of state that have brought their own telescopes and they're going to watch the solar eclipse that way. So I think that is very cool. But everybody's got their solar eclipse glasses out here at Pocahontas. They've got them up looking at the sky. It's going to be so cool. But uh, another thing we were talking about was traffic and everything else. Right now, things look very good here in Pocahontas, very calm, about a normal day here in uh, Highway 67 and, and the surrounding groves. So I think we're good to go here in Randolph County, and we are definitely looking forward to totality. Back to you guys. Thank you so much for that, Hayden. We're definitely looking forward to all the cool stuff going on up there in Pocahontas as well back here. But, you know, as we talk about this eclipse, we've been talking so much about it. I want to talk a little bit now, Diana, about the science behind the eclipse, if we can, for a second. Sure. Meteorologist Jace Passmore breaks down the science behind it in this special report. Uh, totality here will be just under three minutes, and then the moon in its orbit will start to go past the face of the sun, and we'll see sliver of light that gets ever increasingly larger. Total solar eclipses happen every year or two, but can only occur when there is a new moon. So if they happen yearly, why don't we see more? And why is our next one decades away? The answer, our planet is 70% water, so most eclipses occur over open oceans. David Neighbors has experienced multiple eclipses. Anything that you would expect to see at dusk can, can happen. I mean, insects can start chirping, birds can start uh, roosting, uh, the temperature can become noticeably cooler. Not only will we see a change in temperature, once in totality, the sun will have a completely different look. If you look at the edge of the sun, uh, or the edge of where the moon is covering up the sun, you can see prominences which look like flames uh, leaping off the sun. According to NASA, a solar eclipse is the result of a cosmic coincidence. Even though the sun is about 400 times bigger than the moon, it's also 400 times farther away. This makes the sun and the moon appear almost exactly the same size in our sky. On October 14th, we will experience an annular eclipse. Robert said due to the moon's orbit, the annular eclipse is connected to the total solar eclipse we will experience in April. Be a annular eclipse, okay? And this is when the moon is at its furthest point in this, this, uh, the slightly elliptical um, uh, orbit. David Neighbor said this is something that you will not want to miss, but he did stress to make sure that you view the eclipse safely. April 8th of 2024. Uh, that's, people that have experienced a total solar eclipse will always remember that. It will be very dark. Approved glasses, solar eclipse glasses made for this purpose. That was Jace Passmore reporting for us. So we've got those solar eclipse glasses right here ready to go. As you can see, wrong way, right here below me on our solar cam right here, that eclipse is underway now. And as we did mention, uh, Jace and Ryan are hanging out in Paragould for some celebrations this morning. We're going to check in with them here in a few minutes. But first, happening now in our eclipse coverage, we're going to take a look at traffic out there this afternoon. I keep wanting to say this morning, Diana, that's going to be a hard <laughs> habit to break. So used to the morning show. But this is a live look at the Arkansas, the iDriveArkansas.com map. As we've said before, we can't really see it in too much detail from where we're at. There is a little bit of a glare on that screen, but we did see some delays 
on I-555 and the I-55 interchange in Crittenden County earlier today as people are coming in to view that totality. We're going to continue to keep an eye on traffic as we go throughout the show. We're also going to take a live look from Walnut Ridge over in Lawrence County. We have a festival going on over there. You can see that blue sky. You can see a few cars parked downtown. A lot of fun to be had over in Walnut Ridge. We're also going to take a live look over in Newport now. More blue skies, a cloud or two here or there, but not going to be any trouble when it comes to the weather and viewing the totality of that eclipse. We can't wait. We are just about 40 five minutes away at this point. We're also going to take a live look at the Black Rock Bridge. Really no traffic out there right now. A lot of people probably getting to their destinations now, so maybe not as much traffic out there as we have seen earlier in the day. One car just passed by just in time there, but still blue skies over there in Black Rock as well. And we're going to take a look in Hardy. I always love this camera. This is a beautiful view of the Ozark Mountains. Beautiful view of that blue sky. Try saying that three times fast. No traffic issues up there in Hardy as well, but in downtown they're hoping to take advantage of tourists all throughout the area. And if you're a tourist or if you're a regular viewer or anything, we want to see your photos. We want to see your pictures, your videos, everything, and not just of the eclipse, but of you enjoying all the events around that eclipse. You can submit those to us through the See It, Snap It, Send It page on KATA.com and the K8 News app. And I was just talking about having fun up in the Ozarks. I know that Aaron has been having fun up in the Ozarks all day. So Aaron, what is going on now up there in Cherokee Village? It is a fantastic app up here. We are dealing with some fantastic weather up here right now. And also, it is starting to get a little bit dimmer out here, getting a little bit cooler out here as well. So it's not as hot as it was. You put on these eclipse glasses, you look up, you can see a fantastic view of the sun right now. We're getting close, about halfway there with the eclipse. Now, other things are going on down here. Let's just take a look at all the people that are here right now. There's a lot of people looking up towards the sun, but we have bounce houses. And you see, I think you can see that Ferris wheel over there. We have a pretty cool Ferris wheel here in town. We have the Ferris wheel from Stranger Things here, the actual one from the actual show. So if you're a big Stranger Things fan like I am, got a cool thing right there with the Ferris wheel. Now, even after the eclipse, which is less than an hour away now, we'll have fun things going on down here in Cherokee Village. We still have the food trucks that are here. We have the vendors that are here. We have the live music. And also, we'll have a basketball game, the national championship game. That'll be fun. We have people from all over the world here in Cherokee Village today. We we'll hope to bring you some more stories from them coming out. I spoke with a woman and a man who came all the way from England. I hope to hear that sound sometime later on this evening. For now, I'm live in Cherokee Village. Back to you, Chase and Diana. Thank you so much for that, Aaron. Sounds like you're having a ton of fun up there. I love the Alanis Morissette playing in the background there. I got one hand in my pocket and the other's throwing a peace sign here on K8 News. We also want to head over to another meteorology team that we have out and about. Jace and Ryan are out in Paragold this afternoon having some fun. And, and here's Diana. <laughs> and I'm, I'm talking over Diana's shot here, but. <laughs> I just magically pop up anywhere. You, just, you know, you gotta love live TV, Diana. But let's head over to Jace to see what that weather is doing here as we're almost ready for totality, Jace. <laughs> Yeah, hey, hey Chase, uh, we are starting to lose a little bit of light here in Paragold. We also have a lot of people starting to show up. Uh, as you can see behind me, people starting to show up there at the soccer field. Uh, I believe Ron told me those people back there are from uh, uh, Mississippi, northern Mississippi, drove all the way here, and we're really starting to see this fill out. Uh, but here in the next 30 minutes or so, it's really going to start to uh, look cool. We're looking for maybe the crescent moons uh, through the tree shadows here as well. So a bunch of cool things are about to start happening here within the next 30 to 40 minutes. All right, thank you so much for that, Jace. We're turning our attention now to the weather camera over in Southside. Again, you can see those beautiful blue skies shaping up for perfect weather for totality that is coming up, as we said, here in just pretty soon now, about 30 minutes away, maybe 40 minutes away from that totality. But now we want to take some time and check in with Colton Stater over from Lion College. They've got a lot of stuff going on over there. And Colton, again, I'm not hearing those bagpipes. I'm ready for those pipers to, to really start going again, but I, I know you guys are having some fun over there today. 
we have a ton of stuff going on. If you can see behind me, we have a cornhole tournament in the works. We have even more people than last time I was on that are setting up telescopes. We have a ton of different uh, just telescope styles, if, if that even makes sense. We have the people that are basically building camera, camera obscura. Um, but no, it, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, we still have absolutely clear skies. We have a little bit of the eclipse starting. Uh, we have checking out everything. And we even have, for the people that don't necessarily, that can't make it out or don't have access to glasses to safely view, uh, Lion's currently running a live stream, if that interests y'all. It is at www.lion.edu slash eclipse. You can find the link to it there. And we are live streaming the eclipse right now. You can see where it's at in its progress. You can see we're going to be streaming it all the way through totality. We've already had a ton of people buy all of our screens and stuff like that. Absolutely awesome. I can't recommend it enough. Um, if you can make it out, I highly recommend y'all come out. We're having an absolute blast on campus and a great time. It's a beautiful day for this and we couldn't have asked for better, honestly. It does look like you guys are having a ton of fun out there. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in all this, this telescope stuff that you're talking about. It sounds really cool, but I want to talk about you for a second. How excited are you personally as we're here getting close to totality? We're starting to see that eclipse actually happen. What's your excitement level like? I'm pumped. I'm, <laughs> I'm nerdy about this stuff. I'm not super <laughs> academic when it comes to like how celestial mechanics work and things like, things like that. But I'm, I'm so excited for this. This is a once, maybe twice in a lifetime event, and I have one of the best stages for it, so I can't complain at all. That is awesome, man. Colton, thank you so much for joining us again this morning. I hope the festival over there continues to go as great as it has throughout the morning. Thank you so much. And we live in such a great time right now, technologically, really that we're able to tap in and see so many different places observing this mm -hmm. historical thing. And so uh, right now we're going to check in with some of the celebrations in Pocahontas where they have a whole lot going on. Sure, a lot of cool stuff that's going to come up later. I know Hayden's there. He'll have another live mm -hmm. report for us here pretty soon. Yes. And we also want to take a look over in Pickett, where it looks like Macy or Alejandra is moving the camera. Perfect timing <laughs> there. I, I, I love these. These. I know some people don't want to point out the fun, but I have fun with the <laughs> live TV aspects of a show like this, Diana. But Macy and Alejandra are over in Pickett, they're going to have a live report for us. Hey, this up. is how this things get done. I Absolutely. mean, you know, it's teamwork. It really is. And we have a great team working <laughs> with us today, including the folks who are, are going from all these different live shots who are punching this show we appreciate them as well so that they can bring the eclipse to you at home if you're not able to get out and look at that look it's getting the moon is covering up there. more of the sun we'll have more in just a minute diana all right don't go away since 1885, Barton's has been building relationships with home improvement pros in Arkansas and Missouri. Builders, contractors, and landlords know they can expect full service support for their businesses from our experienced staff. Barton's carries a large selection of quality in-stock products at competitive prices and has pro benefits like on-site measuring, job quotes, pro financing, and convenient delivery. Visit your local Barton's or shop online at bartons-lumber.com. Whether you want to travel far from home or stay in your own backyard, there's always time to take a road trip. Join First Security Bank and K8 as we set out to find the best destinations for the whole family to explore. Beautiful parks, interesting museums, and delicious eats. We're hitting the road and getting the inside scoop on all the most interesting places to visit. Take a road trip. Go to kait8.com or watch on K8 now. Sponsored by First Security Bank. When you smile, the whole world will follow. Because we know that smiling is contagious. Taking care of you and your smile is what we do best. Roll and roll, change your smile, change your life.
Our coverage of the Great American Eclipse continues right now, and you're seeing a live look at our solar cam right here at KAIT, and at 1.55, that is when totality begins, and as you can see, the process is underway today we continue this coverage and we have a live interview right now with walnut ridge mayor charles snap and he's going to tell us how they this event good afternoon mayor how are you oh doing good doing good what a beautiful day i'll tell you we've had a blast today it's going on you can tell right now that the sun is being covered up, paper dropping. We appear to be having some technical difficulties in being able to hear the mayor, and that is because sometimes there are communications issues when so many people flood an area like this to watch the solar eclipse. Now, we're gonna see if we can get him back online. Okay, we'll come back to him just a little bit later, but no doubt some of these communications issues, we've been talking about the possibility of that for a while, and that's truly because so many people are in the area and they're wanting to see this total solar eclipse. Now we want to take a look here in Jonesboro so you can see how things look. And there's our Maddie Sexton joining us from Central Baptist. Central has put a lot of work and effort into this event, this festival this afternoon. Maddie, are things going smoothly? Yes, absolutely, Dinah. Things are going really smoothly here. Um, I'm right by the entrance. Um, we've got some JPD officers. I think that's a Craighead County Sheriff's deputy. Um, traffic in here, they've got that down pat. So basically there's no um, issues outside the parking lot and in the parking lot. Um, right here, I'm right in front of all of these food trucks and kind of like on the courtyard of the church. You can see people sitting on blankets, sitting on chairs. Um, super excited. We're not long away from the total solar eclipse. So super exciting things. People have got out their tripods and their phones and their telescopes. So um, be sure to make sure you have your eclipse glasses. And I can tell the sun is um, it's still looking very not full. So lots of fun stuff coming up. Live in Jonesboro, Maddie Sexton, K8 News. Maddie, thank you so much for that report bringing us up to date. And it is counting down. I mean, so it's close, finally Diana. happening. We're about 30 <laughs> minutes away at this point. We're taking a live look over Paragold right now. Ryan and Jace are over in Paragold. We're going to check in with them for another look at that weather here in just a few minutes. But I mean, we're getting so close, Diana. We've got the glasses. If you look up right now, it, it looks oh, like a crescent wow. moon right now. It looks yes. like you're looking at the moon. That yes. is crazy. That is this, so cool. You know, you hear about it in science. You hear about it on television. Mm -hmm. And there have been numerous podcasts and things to listen to. But now it's here. It's finally here. It feels like, Diana, it feels like there's a look at the static cam there where you can you can see where it looks like a crescent moon. But we've been preparing for this for at least a year at this point. And some people, like Ryan was saying, he was looking at this 10 years ago. And today's the day. I can't and believe it. Think about how many millions of people are joining us yeah. in this process and that we're all enjoying the day. I, it covers 13 states, mm -hmm. Arkansas being one of the lucky ones. Yeah. It started in Mexico, uh -huh. will travel on up to New Finland. Like you said, kind of like doing the wave, the whole the yes. whole continental, you know. And we're all United excited. States. Everybody's getting excited <laughs> all in unison as, as it goes up through the through the country. It's and so we, we may never, I may never, you, you will probably experience <laughs> another total solar eclipse, but uh, we have connected throughout the day with our sister stations mm -hmm. all over the country and local news live is covering them as well. So let's take a look, a look and a listen right now. Sounds good. Even with a little bit of rain and snow mixed in there for the Dakotas, also quite a bit of cloud cover, unfortunately, uh, for the uh, upper Midwest and also stretching over into portions of Montana. Uh, <laughs> you know, they were going to see a partial eclipse, but unfortunately it looks like the viewing conditions are not looking 
looking the best. Now we are seeing, if you are going to be watching the partial eclipse, which is still fun, uh, you know, Ross and I are going to have some ways that you can make a pinhole projector uh, later on in the show, and that way you can see little sun crescents on the ground. So, you know, we'll have that for you in just a moment. You can still see that the partial eclipse. But we do have some showers stretching from portions of Louisiana up through Kentucky, but we are going to see that potential for some cloud cover as we start to work our way towards Erie, Pennsylvania, and also into Watertown, New York, for those in the path of totality. Also seeing some moisture working its way on shore of like uh, Oregon and also the state of Washington. But again, more about that severe weather threat. But I think we're not going to have to really be too concerned with it until later today after uh, many areas in Texas have already experienced totality. So some good news, but you will have to stay weather aware because we do have that potential for strong to severe thunderstorms as we get into the late afternoon and into the evening. Now, what we are anticipating with any storm in these areas that does become severe, we can't completely rule out that some of these storms could have rotation. So that's why you need to be very careful and just, you know, stay alert with any weather going on in your area. We're also looking at the potential for some large hail, possibly up to the size of golf balls. And then we're also seeing the potential for some strong, damaging straight line winds. Now, where you see the orange shading, which includes Dallas, that's a level three out of five. Where you see the yellow shading, that's a level two out of five. And where you see the green shading, that's a level one, where we could see one or two storms becoming severe. 74 right now in Memphis, 80 degrees currently in Waco, so quite warm there. And 71 in Lansing, so that's pretty warm for the Great Lakes area. 68 in D.C. Looking at 60 in Burlington, 49 in Colorado Springs, and 64 in Las Vegas. You're watching The Great American Eclipse. Welcome to this special edition of Local News Live, the great, great American Eclipse. I'm Deborah Alfaro, and a little I'm, bit too crazy right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're having happy a good about time it. over here. We're all excited about yes. it. Yes. And I'm Rashida Kaba. For those of you just joining us, we are following the path of totality all across the United States. It's incredible. You are looking right now at Eagle Pass, Texas. Is that in, in, That's amazing. They have reached totality. You can see it now with our NASA cam. Look at that site. Let's go ahead and bring in KGNS reporter, reporter Lisa Lee Garza. She joins. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Didn't mean to talk over you there. They're talking about you know starting to reach to totality, and we're we're getting close. We're now yes. just about 25 minutes away. I feel like it's starting to get a little bit darker here. Right. Maybe a little shady if you Our look up at the sun. Our eyes are adjusting ever they so are. slowly to how this change is happening. Get this. Did you know this sun? The sun is 400 times mm. bigger than the moon okay. and yet today it's all about that angle mm -hmm. and how the moon is going to cover it up so something to think about as you and i know that there's no in. one more excited about stuff like that than ryan and jace <laughs> they're two of our biggest weather nerds out there and they're hanging out in paragold so let's check in with them and see how the fun is going over in paragold hey chase and diana you know I really was stressing to people that 99.999% isn't as good as 100%. And you guys listened and you came over here. What's your name? Van. Van? Axel. Axel? Jet. Jet. Those are some cool names. All right, so you guys, where are you guys from and what made you come over here? Uh, I'm from Manila, Arkansas, and we came over because we wanted to see the 100% and yeah. we didn't want to see 99.98. And we wanted to see the 100 because... 99.98 is not enough for us. There you go. So hold up. Did you skip school? Yes. <laughs> we'll let it slide. I'll write you a note, okay? Hey, look at this, guys, also. So you guys have had your solar uh, eclipse glasses. This is a colander, and I'm going to get Jace to uh, pan down to the ground here. Uh, if you have a colander, you can go outside and kind of point it to the sun, and you can see the little crescents showing up on the sidewalk. And I tell you, we are also losing... Um, the temperature it's uh we're starting to, to cool off a little bit can y'all feel a difference in the weather also yeah it was it was a lot hotter coming out here yeah and as soon as the moon's going in front yeah. it got a little colder out here got a little colder now what are you what, what are you hoping for during totality what are you hoping to see uh so i was watching a youtube video at school yeah. and i heard that animals are going to act differently yeah. during it because they're usually not used to it 
Yeah, something else to listen for also. So uh, during that two and a half minutes that we're dark here, uh, a couple things to look for. You'll have a sunrise all the way around you for one, and then you'll also hear uh, like the insects. You know, when you uh, when you hear the the bugs at night, you're gonna hear those also. Hey, good to have you guys here. Glad you guys listened to come over here, wear the glasses, but remember you can take them off during totality. So we're here at the Paragold Community Center. Uh, people are trickling in, and you know everyone's kind of talking about how happy they are that it's not overwhelming crowded just everybody's just kind of outside enjoying the nice weather and enjoying uh, this uh, incredible uh, sky right now we got totality at 145 or 155 rather and then it's going to end at around 314 we'll get a quick look at satellite and radar and we are still looking good on satellite and radar not seeing any issues uh, whatsoever in fact just kind of looking up we've got these cirrus clouds but even the cirrus clouds are starting to thin out a little bit it's warm we've got upper 70s and and low 80s so if you are making a last minute trip outside put some sunscreen on drink lots of water uh, because it is still a little warm but the temperature's dropping that's nice isn't it mm -hmm. all right thanks guys for talking with us we'll send it back to the station with diana and chase all right thank you ryan and what a great example of young people listening to what we're yes. saying about totality it's awesome, isn't it? awesome. the te the temperature here it's cooled down a lot diana yes. it really has in the last like five minutes because our devices were overheating <laughs> earlier and now they're back to normal. And so right now we are going to check in with meteorologist Aaron Castleberry in Cherokee Village. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Diana. Yeah, we are out here in a little bit cooler Cherokee Village than it was the last time we spoke. That's, uh, let me go ahead and hold because I got, a, I got a, a snow cone in my hand too. So I'm going to try to juggle here and I'm going to look up and we're getting close. We're getting real close, folks, to totality here in Cherokee Village. About 154 here. They're going to turn off the music about 145, so we can get real quiet. Going to stay quiet till about two o'clock out here. So we're going to watch everybody have just a fantastic time. A lot of people are looking up to the sky. We have astronomers here. We have people from all over the country and the world here in Cherokee Village this afternoon. Hopefully, after the eclipse, I have a couple that are from Florida who flew in here from Florida this morning morning to check out the eclipse. Hopefully we'll get to talk to them in just a little bit. But hey, get outside. You're getting close to totality here across a region eight. Get outside and enjoy it. For now, I'm live in Cherokee Village. Back to y'all. All right. Thank you, Aaron. And so many people have come to our area. Oh, look, look at that Gosh. shot right there. We're, We're there, nearing Diana. totality. And you know, a lot of people headed here because of bad weather elsewhere yeah. and having those clouds, but we don't have clouds we've been, here. We've been so lucky, Diana, and it's starting to get a little darker here. Like they said, that temperature has dropped significantly in these last couple yes. minutes. Now, we do have live reports from all over Region 8. I think first we're going to go ahead and check back in with Maddie, who is in Jonesboro. So she's probably feeling this temperature change and this mm -hmm. little bit of darkness as well. So Maddie, what are you seeing over at Central Baptist? Yeah, right now, Chase, I'm seeing a lot of people look up at the sky with their eclipse glasses on. And yeah, right now, I mean, it is looking crazy. It's almost completely gone. It's just a little crescent. If you look at the shadow of the sun right now, they're in um, crescent shape. So super duper cool. Um, we're about 20 minutes out. There's still time to come on down to this event, grab you something to eat and celebrate this solar eclipse with this entire community. And coming up, I'll be speaking with a family who traveled in this morning from Oklahoma to spend this day with their grandson. So I'll have more coming up. We are here in Cherokee Village right now. We are so close to totality here. We're getting over four minutes, four minutes and 13 seconds of totality here in Cherokee Village. And we're already starting to see it get dark out here. Everybody's getting ready. Everybody has their eclipse glasses and they're starting to look up. There's even going to be Ferris wheel rides going on during the at the deer totality. So that's going to be awesome to watch people on top of the Ferris wheel going around as we are in totality. Now, I ain't, I'm not getting up there, but if I could, I would, but I'm, I'm tethered here, but it's going to be a fantastic time. Everybody's getting ready. Everybody, everybody's looking up towards the sky right now. So we're getting ready for totality. That's coming up in just a few minutes. So if you are inside and you're in the path of totality, get outside. We have fantastic weather across Region 8.
Yeah, that's right. Just like Aaron was saying, if you were in the path of totality, you need to get out and you need to experience this. It's a beautiful day and you can already see some like slight shiftings. It feels a little bit cooler than it did earlier. It was really hot earlier in the day. But now as you put your eclipse glasses on, you start looking at the sun, you can start seeing these changes happening. It kind of looks like a moon when you look up there with your eclipse glasses on, so that's pretty neat. And if you look behind me, I'm going to kind of walk back and try to see if you can see this. But Les Johnson has just been telling people about the eclipse and, and giving some advice to people on things to look out for. And so that's been really cool to see. And you can already see people are having their eclipse glasses on. They're, they want to see what the sun looks like right now. And so so there's a lot of excitement going on here in Pickett and we're excited to be here. We're going to keep covering it and we're going to keep putting those solar eclipse glasses on and looking up at the sun. So we'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, hey there, Diana and Chase. I mean, it's just so cool to look up and see what is actually going on here in Pocahontas. You know, about what everybody else is seeing right now. It's getting so close to coverage. Got folks out here on the bleachers. They are uh, they're starting to cover up their eyes with their eclipse glasses. I'm excited for the moment whenever, you know, totality hits and everybody gets to see the whole thing. But we're going to stay here in Pocahontas. We're getting excited for what's coming. For communities to grow, there has to be investment from different people. First Community Bank has been awesome. Whatever we need, they're there. First Community <laughs> Bank has been great to us. It really has. When we took this journey and she started, just everything from A to Z, even now, I feel like she has that open line of communication. First Community Bank is a customer of ours and we're a customer of theirs. When we got the community center going, things just fell together. First Community leads the pack on giving back. My name is Tim Leith. I was sitting at a red light out of nowhere, I just got rear-ended. I reached out to Morgan & Morgan directly from the scene. It was incredibly simple to get the process started. I never actually had to physically set foot into Morgan & Morgan. You can literally do everything from your cell phone. I was able to get emails, text messages. Morgan & Morgan got my initial offer 10 x and I never even got a check. I just got a direct deposit into my bank account. It's so easy. Rear-ended, I went ballistic failure to yield, but a friend suggested this great body shop. Sideswiped, stadium auto body fixed her right up. Not just anybody can touch my baby. Luckily, I found stadium auto body. If it happens again, the choice is crystal clear. Tell your insurance company you choose stadium auto body. I don't have to think about it. It's automatic. Stadium auto body, accidents happen. We're what happens next. The Great American Eclipse is upon us. You're taking a live look right now at our solar cam just a few minutes away from totality. It is so exciting right here, Chase. It really is, Diana. That temperature has dropped significantly. It was so hot just a couple minutes yes. ago. And it's probably 10 degrees cooler, and that breeze feels really nice as well. So. And there's some <laughs> sort of strange, I don't know, it, mm -hmm. the light has changed it in has. a significant, significant way. And you know, Ryan is over in Paragold. I know that he knows all there is to know yes. about these eclipses. So maybe he can fill us in on, on what all's going on right now is you can see that our shots are getting a lot darker too, Diana. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the radiation, I mean, we're just losing so much of the solar radiation, uh, losing so much of the solar radiation right now that it just, like you said, you really can't even put it into words. It just looks a lot different. I'm here at the Paragold Community Center. You can see behind me, uh, people are kind of set up just uh, watching the sun, putting their solar glasses on, and really just taking it all in. It's nice and quiet here. Like you guys said, temperature's been dropping, a little breezy at times, um, and, and it just really feels good out 
here right now. We're getting really close. We're about, uh, what are we at, 13 minutes out. And I'm just so happy that the weather is so incredible. If you look at satellite and radar, you can see the rain is down to the south. Uh, in fact, most of the cirrus clouds have even dissipated out. If you look at visible satellite right now, there's just not a lot of cloud cover at all. Temperatures uh, officially still sitting at 80 in Jonesboro, 78 in Paragold. I think when they get a reading here at the top of the hour, we're going to see that temperature will have gone down. Now, don't forget when the sun and the moon come together, uh, we're going to have the opportunity to see Jupiter to the left, maybe even a comet in between Jupiter uh, and the sun and moon. Venus will be down to the lower right, and then Mars and Saturn uh, will be uh, off to the right also. But we're getting excited here. It, it's, it's interesting. Uh, uh, Chase and Diana, it's like everyone's getting a little quieter, just kind of taking it all in a little bit. And every now and then I pull out my glasses and I look up and uh, you can see it's just a little crescent of the sun right now. And so something it's going to be quite a sight to see here in just a minute, guys. You can feel it in the air for sure. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ryan. And Diana, we're starting to hear birds chirping. There's some animal that's behind <laughs> us here somewhere that, that's starting to stir. It, this is so it feels so strange out here right now. We've it's been really hearing cool. this animal behind yes. us moving around <laughs> quite a bit more. I hope it's not hungry. Yeah, and I <laughs> hope that Maddie maybe isn't having the same issue. She, she's surrounded by a lot of people. We're kind of by the woods, but <laughs> Maddie, she's over at Central Baptist in Jonesboro. So Maddie, what's going on over there in Jonesboro? Well, Chase, I can tell that it's getting a little bit dimmer right now. Um, I am with Tom from Oklahoma. So, Tom, tell me kind of about your journey getting here this morning and why you wanted to come to Jonesboro. Well, I came here to experience the eclipse with my grandson, Kobe Johnson, who is a student at the uh, New York Institute of Medicine. And uh, we've talked about this forever, and I've taught about it and studied in my astronomy classes, but uh, this is my first time to see a total eclipse. Yes, and um, Tom told me he is a retired science teacher, so how cool is it that you're getting to experience this right now, or very soon? Well, it, it's really uh, something I'm excited about and giddy about, and I've been texting with some of my colleagues from all around this area and back in Oklahoma too. So uh, it, it's something that, uh, you know, in astronomy, it, it's a rare event and, and something that you always want to experience. Yes, absolutely. And the temperature change over the past like 30 minutes is kind of drastic. So what do you think about that? Uh, that's interesting and it's, it's getting dimmer too. Uh, you know, um, it, it was bright a while ago and it's getting dimmer and, and as we start to fade into total and then it will kind of cycle back out of it after a while. Absolutely. And how has your day been uh, so far here at Central Baptist with this whole event? How have you liked it? The people here are awesome. This is a great church and a great place for people to go to church uh, and, and to be a part of because uh, they've welcomed us. Uh, you know, we're from out of town and, uh, you know, they've treated us like family since we got here. So. Absolutely, and super cool that you get to experience this with your grandson as well, who's in college here, so I'm sure he's glad to have you and experience that as well. But thank you, Tom, for letting me talk to you a little bit, and we're not far away from totality, so I'll have more coming up. Thank you so much for that, Maddie. And as you can see, my shot is getting a lot darker here on the weather deck. I have to take my hat off just so you can see my face because Aaron, we are just minutes away <laughs> from totality here in Jonesboro. How are things going up in Cherokee Village? Oh, you're starting to hear kind of a hush come across the crowd. Everybody is getting ready. We've turned off the music. We're getting ready for totality. Looking up, it is almost here. I gotta give a quick shout out to somebody over here watching on TV. Kason Daly couldn't be out here, so he is getting a shout out from his mother here. Told me to go over here and give him a shout out. So, good outside to enjoy this nice eclipse. We have a fantastic view. Everybody is starting to get get quiet. You can start to see the lights even brighter on the Ferris wheel right now. That's the cool part. Everybody's looking up towards the sky, and everybody's getting ready for this total eclipse. I'll have more coming up in just a little bit, live in Cherokee Village. Aaron Castleberry, back to y'all. All right, thank you so much for that, Aaron. Really looking forward to seeing totality as it goes all across Region 8. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our solar cam and look at that, Diana. 
barely any sun Incredible. left. Incredible. Isn't it? Here, the light is just so surreal. I mean, normally when we think of sundown, you know, that's in the west. Uh -huh. But oddly, the, the sundown feeling is coming from another direction. It's really, really bizarre, yeah. and we're starting to hear all the wildlife. And like Aaron said, there's kind of a hush in the air right now. It's cooler. It feels just really strange. If you can go out and check this out, definitely check it out. I mean, look how dark our shot is yes. now. Yes, yes. We do want to head back up to Randolph County real quick, where Hayden Savage and Rondasia Howard are hanging out now. I know that they've got all kinds of fun going up there. They're going to be skydiving how at Totality. Exciting. <laughs> Yeah, so they just took off. Uh, the plane did about five, ten minutes ago uh, to get up in the air and get everything going and get ready, things like that. We are trying to track where that plane is right now. Uh, don't really know where it's at yet, but they are supposedly, if everything goes right, conditions, you know, work out like they've expected, they're going to land out that direction is what we've been told. So we'll be watching for that as it happens. Like I said, we've got people off to my right that are, uh, you know, looking up at the sky with their eclipse glasses. Not a, uh, not a person out here, you know, just without looking around at the eclipse and the people reacting to it. It's just, it's so cool to see everybody. We've got uh, the parking lot over here in front of the fire station full of people. It's just, it's just something terrific to see Diane and Chase. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's slowly getting darker here. It's, it's just such a unique thing to see. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. And you know, just a sliver, just a very little sliver scene right there. So we're yep. so close to totality. We're so close. So before we do get to totality, we do want to now go ahead and check in with Macy and Alejandra who are up in a Piggott enjoying all the festivities. You can barely see us now on TV, <laughs> Diana, but we do want to check in with them real quick. And then Diana, it's almost time to get ready for totality. So Yay! Macy, Alejandra, what are you guys seeing up in Piggott now? Okay, yeah, that's super crazy over here. We were just looking at a tree and I hadn't actually told you guys this. So this is the chamber. We're with the chamber right now. And so we were over at this tree and you could see the reflection of the sun like on the sidewalk and it looked like a little crescent because right now the sun looks like a crescent behind us. So it was pretty cool to see that. So why don't you guys just share really quick who you guys are? Um, I'm Cheryl Morgan and I'm the vice president of the Chamber of Commerce here in Piggott. I'm Fallon Winscott and I'm the president of the Chamber of Commerce here in Piggott. All right, so let's talk about this event that's happening today. Tell me a little bit about what's going on. I've been kind of talking about it all day, but just from you guys' perspective, talk about this event. Um, we just worked in conjunction with the Hemingway Pfeiffer Museum to just have kind of a block party where people could come and enjoy the eclipse and we have little booths set up and some educational speakers and um, information and just kind of try to make it a fun family field day. The schools are out so just kind of somewhere where the community could come and see the eclipse together. And it definitely does seem like the community has really come together here. I mean we have the fire department here, we have the library here, we have all these different games and events that are going on here and also I've noticed a lot of people from out of state so kind of talk about some of the states that you've seen people coming in from. Uh, we've had people from California, Minnesota, Arizona, Tennessee, those are the states that I can think of right off the top of my head that have been coming to the chamber office to get information. We've had a scavenger hunt all weekend, mm -hmm. so people are picking up their prizes today. Yeah, and I don't think I've even talked about the scavenger hunt at all, but the chamber put on a scavenger hunt, basically just having people, you know, collect this scavenger hunt packet and then go around. Tell me what people have been thinking about the scavenger hunt. I think they really enjoyed it. They went all around town and took some selfies at some different landmarks and um, we just made it family friendly and they enjoyed being able to see like the town and we made mostly of the things free and so they just kind of enjoyed a chance to get to see Piggott and learn about it. Yeah, a lot of fun and we're all here because of the total solar eclipse that's literally about to happen. I think the eclipse time here is 156 to 159. So we, we're literally about to experience it right now and you can kind of tell it's getting a little bit colder yes, outside yes. and it's getting a little bit darker. Have you guys had a chance to put on the eclipse glasses and look up? Yes, oh, several yes. times. Very like, cool. Yeah, that's it's so very neat. cool. And, and listening to Mr. Johnson talk about the science of it all is, is very, I mean, you can feel his enthusiasm and the excitement. It's very cool. And have you guys ever experienced a total solar eclipse? No. I haven't. I, I remember a few partial eclipses, Partial in yeah. 2017. So this is, this is like 
a first time thing. This is such a huge event. I was just talking to someone from Alabama who came here to Pickett and they said they had never been to Pickett before, but they were saying that it was such a cool experience when they saw it back in 2017. And I think they even got emotional. They didn't think they were getting emotional, but they started crying and oh. it was just like one of those moments. Is that something that you guys think could happen to you? Are you kind of nervous about what that's going to be like? I don't know. I've got goosebumps right now. <laughs> I'm a lot more excited than I thought I would be. Um, just having experienced a partial eclipse before and not realize, I mean, I knew the difference, but seeing it in person and feeling the changes in the weather and the darkness and just the excitement, like she said, for Mr. Johnson and the science side of it, the information has made it a lot more exciting for sure. And I think it's really cool that we also have NASA scientist Les Johnson here. Were y'all able to listen in on anything that he had to say mm -hmm. today? What was he saying? Uh, well, he's been around and just talking to the kids, just just going from booth to booth and explaining the changes and things to expect, and it's, it's just so exciting. Awesome. All right, well, thank both of you guys so much for talking with me. I know this was a long interview, and we want to get back to the eclipse and be able to look up there, so I'll let you guys go and do that. Thanks and so, yeah, yeah, we're very excited to be here in Pickett. There's still a lot of excitement going on. You can see people already looking at the sun with those solar eclipse glasses. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to send it back to you guys. I know that y'all are doing some coverage there with the total solar eclipse, so I hope you guys are seeing some cool stuff over there as well. Absolutely, Macy, you can barely see us because we are right here. We're literally at Diana totality. about a minute away oh. at this point. So here in just a second, when we do get to totality, you're not going to hear us talking. We're just going to take a camera. You can see right there in the corner. We're just almost there. So get outside, put on those glasses, go look. And once we hit totality, Diana, you can you take them off. the glasses. We're so close. I'm so excited. And my eyes just keep <laughs> trying to adjust because, you know, you know it's daytime. Yeah, but it's but dark. It our, no, is our, uh, our, our lights just came on. They just popped on in, in the, the parking, parking lot. lot. The, yeah, and the light sensors. It's, it's nighttime. As far as the animals are concerned, it has gotten very, very quiet. And I thought they would probably kick mm -hmm. in, but it is it's quiet. silent. It is. It, behind it feels us. awesome. Go outside. You've got about 30 seconds till totality. If you're in Jonesboro in this area, it's time. Go out there and check this out. We're, we're almost there. Diana. And then I'm you so want excited. to look. You'll take your glasses off and you want to look for that corona mm -hmm. around the edges that like the real, really stringy mm -hmm. little red fingery like things. Okay, here we are. We're going to take sun. we're going to take this camera. We're in totality. Here we go.
That was incredible. That's one of the most amazing things. We've hyped it up this whole time. I, I was not prepared. No, to, and you can't capture it, no. it seems like, with your phone or anything. You just have to see that glowing rim. That was unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. That was amazing. Oh, I almost started crying, Dad. I'm not going to lie to you. That was amazing. And it, we had the sun. It looked like sunrise all across the horizon. Just amazing. And amazing it's stuff. dark. It's still dark. Almost it like is. you've seen daylight a lot because yes. <laughs> you come to work early. And it's but all of a sudden it, the sky's getting lighter again, just like mm -hmm. that. It's yeah. just th that was it. There it is go. unbelievable. And behind us mm -hmm. for uh, probably about 10 or 15 minutes, uh -huh. we've, we've been hearing probably what is a deer maybe a deer maybe a raccoon, around. something and so we we've been hearing that and then all of a sudden when that came you know when the totality happened mm -hmm. the animals stopped moving it's just quiet it, unbelievable and you know i know that there are very few people that have been as excited about this eclipse as ryan vaughn has been so i, I want to hear what ryan had to think of what was some of the coolest minute or so I've ever experienced. Yes. <laughs> that was incredible. I saw uh, 2017 and this one was uh, even better than 2017. It just wasn't long enough. I, I would have liked to have seen more. <laughs> Yeah, I know, and that's a, that's how it always is. It just always, you just want, it, it, even when the light starts coming back out, uh, someone made the comment, you just want to keep staring at it. Obviously, I uh, can't do that, but uh, that was that was something else. Hey, after I had to make myself look away because I started to see the sun peek out, and I'm like, no, I don't want it to be over yet. That was uh, breathtaking. I mean, I, I have no words. Yeah. I have absolutely no words. That was such magnificence unreal. in our universe. It really is. And to know the second and the time that this was going to happen along this path and that millions of us would join. Right, it was, absolutely. I think, I, I don't know. Nobody's really talking to me. <laughs> well, we do also want to now check in. It looks like um, Ryan's having a couple issues hearing us there, but we do want to check in with Maddie. Maddie, we just had totality here. What did you think? Because I'm blown away. I don't even have any words right now. Yeah, Chase, like I really don't know what to say. That was absolutely okay. insane. It was like, I mean, there's probably a thousand people out here right now, and it's like everyone just went silent when and it was beautiful like i don't it didn't even look real i can't even believe that was actually just happened i was laying here on this grass and just in awe and like diana said the phone really doesn't capture it you just got to see it and i'm so thankful i just witnessed that that was absolutely incredible it was it was awesome It, it, you know, Maddie said it, it she, it, she nailed the nail on the head, just incredible. Something that, you know, you, you hear about, you see on TV, you read about, but you don't know what it's like until you actually experience it. Very just, just a calm, a quiet, beautiful thing that we saw out here. And you know, it's something that, could bring, that brought a little tear to your eye this, uh, this afternoon. Something that, that I'm glad that if you got outside to visit, to see it, it was fantastic. Yeah, Aaron, that it was so cool. It's which just starting to get light out now. I mean, we had a three minute and 17 second, I believe. We that was, had that's totality right. yeah, here. Yeah, it was awesome. And it so was... this is NASA scientist Les Johnson here with me now. And so you know everything about the eclipse. It was like I've never experienced an eclipse. It was just breathtaking. It was just mind blowing. But you, how did you feel about it? Oh, I, I almost cry every time I see this. This is my second total eclipse. The last one was in 2017. And to see it blocked off and seeing the atmosphere of the sun and just seeing, quite frankly, the glory of the creation in which we live is just awesome. Absolutely awesome, guys. Absolutely awesome. No other thing to say about it. That's it. The NASA physicist says even awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then I couldn't, it was dark enough so I couldn't see. 
Well, how epic was that? Uh, here in Pocahontas, everybody had their glasses out, looking around, and that uh, that does not stop now here in Pocahontas. People are still looking. Of course, the uh, the sun has not came all the way back out here in Pocahontas yet, but now, as your eyes as well as our eyes are up in the sky, we're waiting for these parachuters or these skydivers to come down. They were, you know, way up high, and they are starting to we're starting to try to be able to see them. So we're going to wait and see whenever we can see them. We'll give you the latest whenever we know more. Back to you guys. Would you buy a life insurance policy if you knew your rate increased every five years? What if $9.95 a month bought you less than $1,000 in protection? Sadly, many policies that seniors buy today fail to mention this in their advertisements. You could buy a policy that might not give you enough coverage when you need it most. Call now to receive free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life Insurance Company. The Senior Care Plan guarantees your rates cannot increase. Your benefit will never decrease. There is no medical exam, and you will have lifetime coverage. You could qualify for up to $30,000 in whole life protection, and rates start as low as $5.90 a month. With the Senior Care Plan, your coverage can start immediately, unlike other policies that don't give you full coverage for two years. Call now for free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life. By calling now, you lock in the lowest rate possible. You have no obligation. Call now. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in a car accident, call America's largest injury law firm. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients, to deliver more for you. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Hey, Arkansas, the Powerball jackpot is over $900 million and growing. Get in on the action with your favorite lottery app, jackpot.com. The easiest way to buy Powerball, Mega Millions, and official state lottery games right from your phone. And hey, now you get a free ticket with your first order. You choose your favorite lottery game, pick your lucky numbers, get a verified scan of your printed ticket to view on your phone. Get notified instantly when you win. Never miss another jackpot. Download the jackpot.com lottery app today. Use promo code jackpot and get a free lottery ticket with your first order. This week on Wheel... What are you going to do? I'm going to spin. I'm a gambler. Okay. Contestants spin at their own risk. I'm going to spin. We're going to spin. To win an HSN shopping spree. Weeknights after KA News at 6. Our coverage continues of the great American solar eclipse. And oh my, I feel like what my eyes have seen today is amazing. I've never seen anything even comparable, Diana. That, and I was hyped up about this, yeah. but I wasn't ready. I but was not seeing prepared. seeing it, yes. It was unreal. And Absolutely just looking unreal. up there and seeing that image in the sky that you can't really no, get with your no, phone. No, you had you to just, can't. you had to see it to believe it. You really yes. did. You really did. And we do want to take a look at our static cameras. You can see now the moon passing on along this. It's like it took us all day to get here and it's gone just like that, <laughs> and, Diana. And now the wave, as I mentioned, the wave moves on yep. and goes on up to, I guess, Carbondale, Illinois. Yeah, there and you go. further up the path. But we had that glorious moment we really did. right here with no clouds. No clouds. It was perfect weather. And I know that people all around our area and across the country are experiencing this a lot for the first time. And if you did experience it and you got a great photo or you took photos of your friends enjoying it, your friends and family or or whatever, we want to see those pictures. We want to see that joy on people's faces. So you can send us those photos through the See It, Snap It, Send It page over on KAIT8.com and always the K8 News app. And I'm, I'm looking so forward to seeing those, but I'm also looking forward to checking in with Ryan over in Paragould. Who, he's got a guest with him. And, <laughs> and uh, Ryan, I, I'm having a hard time thinking of a way to toss out to you after what I just witnessed. I'm, I'm out of words today. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you said just a minute ago. You said, I wasn't ready for it. You know, and that's one of the things. I saw it in 2017. This was even more magnificent than the one in 2017. Lisa Beck joins us now. This is your first time to see a total eclipse. Absolutely. Give me your thoughts. Absolutely unbelievable. Once in a lifetime memory. Yeah. Wished I had time to see them many, many more. Yeah. So uh, what was your favorite part of it? The complete darkness. Yeah. Just shows you the immense sun yeah. and just as the light went away and then just in a few seconds it was back yeah. or a few minutes but yeah. it's amazing 
absolutely amazing. So, you know, you, you, you heard the build up. Mm -hmm. Did it live up to the expectations? Like, is, if, if this was your expectations of, of the build up, where are we at on that? Way above that. <laughs> because nobody can tell you what it's going to be until you actually see it. And that's what I've been trying to say all week long is like, you don't understand it until you see it. I mean, I imagined it being dark and just what it would be like, but it was completely 100% above that. Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, being able to see the corona of the sun, we don't ever see that. No, <laughs> I mean, that's amazing to be able to look up at the sun and see that corona around it. Yeah. Just something you'll never see. Ever. It's yeah. fun to see people's it faces. It, it just really was. I had just as much fun seeing faces as I did seeing it, and uh, the Bailey's beads on the yes. on the bottom of it. That was just and, and just amazing. And then the temperature change as yeah. well. I mean, because it was actually really hot when you first got here, yeah. and then just as that temperature changed and being really kind of cold feeling to <laughs> me, right as the peak of totality and then now it's starting to feel warm again yeah it's amazing and diana maybe maybe we did need the blanket remember you you we were talking about having the blanket i had it to sit on but there was a moment there where you needed it to to bundle up also i yes. had a blanket in the car and wish i had it <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll send crazy. it back to you guys all right thank you ryan it did get a little chilly i was <laughs> sweating before and then i cooled off a lot now it's starting to warm back up a little bit see it on the trail we also want to check in with maddie sexton who is in jonesboro this morning and Maddie, I know that you had a wonderful experience. You've got someone with you as well. So, so what's going on at Central Baptist now? Yeah, Chase, I'm here with a Jonesboro resident and an Osceola native. This is Ethan. So Ethan, tell me how you felt as you were watching the eclipse just now. It was quite incredible. I mean, I've never seen anything like that in my life. And to also understand that it may be many years until we get to see something like that again, and so it was really awesome just to kind of just soak it in the moment and get to see that kind of moment happen. Absolutely, it was kind of like time just kind of froze and it was like, I mean, there's like a thousand people out here and it was like just completely silent. It was absolutely insane. It really was cool and it's kind of one of those things you kind of take for granted of how it united the town together. People have been coming into town to see this and everybody at one moment just stopped, forgot about the world and was able to check out this eclipse. I know, and who did you get to experience this with? I was with my wife, my sister, and my soon-to-be brother-in-law and a bunch of our friends and it was just kind of cool to be able to even get with them and I don't get to see them much so this was able to bring us all together absolutely a moment you'll probably never forget never absolutely so thank you so much ethan for joining me and back to you guys on the weather deck all right maddie thank you so much i think it was seeing the corona of the sun that mm -hmm. was the most amazing to me it, it really was it really was like he said a moment i'll never forget never. right <laughs> and it happened so quickly it and really did Aaron Castleberry, he has had a great vantage point being in Cherokee Village all morning. Aaron, what was it like for you? Oh my goodness, Diana, it was probably one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my entire life. And with me is Rosie, she is from Hardy. And Rosie, just tell me how you felt. It was just absolutely amazing to just see everything go from bright sunshine to darkness and to experience it with so many people from all over the world was amazing. We have like we have people from you know England and Brazil and Switzerland and they're Australia. He, Australia they're here in Northeast in Cherokee Village of all places. What did, did this live up to your expectation? It was more than I expected it to be. Is there is there anything else that you know, you think could top this? No, not really. If, uh, if I'm telling you, it was probably it brought a tear to my eye, yeah. and it was so cool. Thank you so much, Rosie, and thank you, thank you for being out and enjoying this with us this uh, this afternoon. Thank you so much, Aaron. You have a great day. Thank you so much, uh, man. Even we're starting to warm up now, but I still have chills from the eclipse. That was so cool, Diane and Chase. It really was. I still have chills. Like Aaron, you're not alone. I, I, about, I had a tear forming in my eyes. We saw that it was absolutely gorgeous, like nothing I've ever seen. And I couldn't take my eyes off of that to look to, for the planets. I had to make <laughs> Diana. I was like, Diana, we got to stop looking. We got to stop. We got to stop. <laughs> we do now want to check in with Macy Davis and Alejandra Hernandez one more time. They are up in Pigot, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as we did, Macy.
Uh, we definitely did. We definitely did, Chase and Diana. It was a very emotional experience, and Alejandra, she's behind the camera right now, but I, I would swear that she, you could see a tear in her eye. She was very, she was very emotional, and she, she had her camera out, and she was trying to get the sun in there as well. But Cheryl, you, we talked with you right yeah. before the eclipse, and you had never seen one before. Cheryl's right. with the Chamber of Commerce here in Pickett. So what was it like to actually see something like that? Well, it was just, it really was emotional. I know we, we joked earlier, you said, are you going to, I was like, no, I'm not going to get emotional. Yeah. But it, it really kind of was. Like I had a, a tear in my eye and I, I still have goosebumps because mm -hmm. it was just, I don't know. It was, it was, it was like nothing, you, you, you can't even explain it really. And, yeah. and just hearing how everybody in the crowd was like gasping and, and wow, this is so amazing. It was, it was, it was. It was, it was amazing. It and really it did was. get so dark out as well. I think there was like one star that was right next to it. So that was yes, pretty. and another star off to the other to the left side. And it was yeah, it was it was really cool. Something that I thought was cool too is you could hear like the kids gasping and saying, "Oh my yes. goodness, it's getting dark!" Like, yes, "Oh look at that I star!" It. it was so yeah. Definitely. The excitement in the crowd was was really worth it. Definitely. It was, Pretty cool. Thank you so much, yeah. Cheryl. I'm glad you Thank had a cool you. experience today. Yes. I know I had a cool experience and Alejandra definitely for sure did as well. She doesn't like to get emotional, but I think she was getting a little <laughs> emotional out there. So we'll send it back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Macy. And this makes two total solar eclipses for Alejandra. I'm so jealous. She's experienced. I'm really <laughs> jealous because I, like I said before, I wasn't prepared for what that was like. And now now I wish I could have seen it before. But and there's so many things we, we didn't take time to look for. The planets, we, yeah, we, like we, Ryan we told us, look for the planets. We completely forgot. <laughs> we, we just glossed over that. We were just mesmerized there. But. <laughs> well, now we go to Randolph County where we have Hayden Savage and Ron Deja Howard checking things out. What's happening now? Well, you may have saw me just like kind of grab the camera. I was just moving away. The uh, the skydivers have landed. That's what I was trying to get a shot of. They, they, it was about three or four minutes after totality had happened. They swung around behind the airport and landed right out here on the runway for everybody to see. It was just so cool to see. Uh, not only, you know, the ring of fire that people call it, but also, you know, the planets that Ryan was talking about earlier that popped out during the eclipse. That was just so unique to see. And then to see everybody jump, we didn't see them jump out of the plane, I guess, but to see them just come down, you know, during this time, that was just so unique to see. But we're about to be able to go speak with them and uh, see if they actually did break those state or national records that they were hoping to break so we'll go talk to them here in just a little bit but like I said just to uh, just to see everybody's reaction everybody there is saying it but it put a little bit of a tear in your eye that was just so unique to in unison for everybody to come together no matter you know your thoughts on different things just to see how everybody can come together at one time and celebrate something like this it, it was just uh, something unique that it's so hard to describe but at the same time it, it's so unique to see and and I know I say unique a lot, but that, I mean, that's just a word that, that describes it all. It's just awesome to see everybody come together like they did. And, and like Macy was talking about, the oohs and ahs, everyone here cheered whenever totality hit. Just something really cool to see. Back to you guys. Oh, High-flying adventure for sure. Thank you, Hayden. I can't wait to get the update later on to see what exactly happened when they jumped out of that plane. Yes. I'm really looking forward. I'm sure we'll have that video sometime later. And speaking of videos and pictures, we want to see your videos and pictures, not just of the sun and the moon themselves, but of you out enjoying this event with your friends and family. You can submit those photos and videos to us through the See It, Snap It, Send It page over on KIT8.com and always the K8 News app. And, you know, our national team is also tracking the great American eclipse as well, Diana. We have stations all over the path. You can watch that coverage on local news live on the K Now app on your phone and also on our website. And that'll start picking up once our coverage is done here yes. in just a few minutes, Diana. But before we go to this next break, we still have a little bit of coverage after the break, but we're taking another look. As you can see, the moon starting to really move out of the way. That temperature's heating back up here a little bit, Diana. And if you, you <laughs> haven't already put your glasses back on, right. you can't look unless you have those glasses on. We'll be right back. Want to increase the value of your home? Want to decrease the cost of energy bills? How about both? Window World will get your home looking great on the outside while saving on high energy costs inside. Search Window World for a free, no pressure quote today. I don't think that these sessions are really working. 
That sounds like repressed rage. Firing your therapist is hard. Hiring Morgan & Morgan for your injury is easy. Morgan & Morgan, the choice is easy. Meet Clean Boss, the most powerful botanical disinfectant and cleaner in the world. No harsh chemicals and safe around people and pets. Clean Boss kills COVID-19 virus, cold and flu virus, and RSV. Go to shopcleanboss.com now. Here at Robertson Brothers Furniture, we have specials going on year-round like the Speed Queen washer and dryer that brings the quality of commercial laundry to your home, both built to last 25 years. Need a new mattress? Take advantage of our deals on your favorite brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Stearns & Foster. We have the widest selection of Lazy Boy recliners in stock with over 300 chairs available. So take the short drive to save huge at Robertson Mothers Furniture in Leachville and tell them four sent you. The pain level was over 10. There's days where I just sat and cried and, and asked the good Lord to take me. And my doctor recommended that I go to Good Feet and try the arch supports. And I took about three, four steps, turned around and went and sat back down and started to cry. It was the first time that I had no pain. I'm not an actor. I want people to know my testimony. I want them to know what arch supports can do from Good Feet. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. Hey, Arkansas, the Powerball jackpot is over $900 million in growing. Get in on the action with your favorite lottery app, jackpot.com. The easiest way to buy Powerball, Mega Millions, and official state lottery games right from your phone. And hey, now you get a free ticket with your first order. You choose your favorite lottery game, pick your lucky numbers, get a verified scan of your printed ticket to view on your phone. Get notified instantly when you win. Never miss another jackpot. Download the jackpot.com lottery app today. Use promo code jackpot and get a free lottery ticket with your first order. At Greenway, we're not just selling John Deere tractors, we're cultivating partnerships. Our partnership with Greenway brings a new level of professionalism to our athletic grounds. The compact tractors and specialized machines have been crucial in maintaining our baseball field. Maintaining the infield skin is crucial in ensuring smooth transitions from dirt to grass surfaces. Join our community of satisfied customers and experience the Greenway difference. Head to your local Greenway dealership today or visit us at GoGreenway.com. Enjoy Window World's beautiful, high-quality, American-made products installed without hassle. Enhance curb appeal, increase resale value, and save huge on energy costs, all with our guaranteed low itemized pricing and lifetime warranty. Search Window World today. We have witnessed such a magnificent event here in Northeast Arkansas this afternoon. And we want to take this opportunity to check in with Maddie Sexton, who is at Central Baptist one last time to get your thoughts, Maddie, on, on this day. Yeah, Diana, this day was honestly amazing. I love getting out and get to meet people from not only Northeast Arkansas, but states and states away. I mean, from Alabama to Minnesota, Louisiana, Florida, Tennessee, it was amazing. And right now, there's still some people lingering um, around. The food trucks are all still here. Um, this event ends at 3 o'clock, so about 40 minutes left. Um, as you can see behind me, this is Harrisburg Road. We do have a little bit of traffic backed up. Um, pretty much all day, Harrisburg Road has been pretty open and no traffic, but as people are starting to leave, we are seeing um, some traffic and we've got some JPD officers out here um, controlling that. So, um, but yeah, super amazing day and an incredible once in a lifetime experience. I'm so lucky that I got to see today. All right, Maddie, thank you so much. And to all the visitors that we had here mm -hmm. in our area, we hope that you will come back Absolutely. and join us again. We won't have another solar eclipse for a long time, but I hope <laughs> you come back anyway. But we also now want to check in with Macy and Alejandra who are up in Pigot, and I hope that you guys, as well as everybody visiting up there, had as good of a time as me and Diana and Maddie did. Oh yeah, Chase, definitely. We had a great time and everyone here in Pigott had a great time as well. It's crazy, I've been talking to people from all over, from California, from Minnesota, from Alabama, and they've all told me that, you know, they came to this small town in Arkansas and were so shocked to just find this community so welcoming. And they said the people here are so nice. And so people were here for the eclipse, but what people got from other people when they come here was just incredible as well. So. 
that's been something that's been really cool to see besides the eclipse. And, and speaking of the eclipse, though, it was absolutely amazing. I mean, I think I can't tell you how many times people have said once in a lifetime opportunity here to be able to see something like this. I talked to a couple from Alabama and they said they want to go back in 20 years when the next total solar eclipse is going to happen. So a lot of excitement today and it's just something we're never going to forget here, you guys. All right. Thank you, Macy. And I'll tell you what, what she brought up. I would so do this again. Oh, absolutely. I'm, yes. I'm convinced now. I totally get it. And, and, you know, Ryan has been telling us if you if you don't understand, you will after you see it. And Ryan, I'm a believer now. I'm, I'm fully here. I'm fully invested. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody you, I just I just now put on Facebook. I'm like, do you see why I was so excited? And yes, now I'm already going to try to book my trip on the other side of the earth. Now, Jace, if you guys don't know this, Jace is a big storm chaser. He loves looking at storms and storm structures and amazing uh, things in nature. Did you did you understand what I meant until a few minutes ago? I, I didn't. That that is by far the coolest thing, you know. I got chills and I felt like, like I said, I pulled out my phone, took one picture and I just took it in. I felt like I like needed to like cry. Like that was just an, an amazing experience. Yeah. You know, I, it, it's just something you can't explain either. You know, now you understand, like if you're trying to explain to somebody that didn't see it, it's gonna be hard to explain it, isn't it? Oh yeah, that that was, you, you've tried to explain it to me in 2017 uh, about your trip and I was like, oh man, you know, this is, you know, it's just gonna get dark, you know, that's about it. But man, when it, yeah, it was. Yeah. So I think I've got uh, Jay sold on going to Egypt uh, in 2027, I believe it is. Uh, so who knows? Uh, me you and Castleberry may end up in Egypt for a for a storm team uh, trip uh, in a, in a few years. So we'll send it back to you guys. Out here at 4:30. Yeah, I'm down <laughs> for that, Diana. If we wanted to make a whole. You know, okay, the whole next. station go over to Egypt for, for another one. I, I'd definitely do it again. We all have to ask off now. And there we go. <laughs> Put in that PTO request now. Aaron, are you down for a trip to Egypt here, here in about three years to cover another solar eclipse? <laughs> You know, if if the station's willing to pay for it, then I think I can I can stu uh, suck it up and go to Egypt. But I have a couple of world travelers here. Give me your names again. Carla. Barry. And they flew in from Florida. Panama City. From Panama City. So tell me, how what did y'all think about the eclipse? Well, first of all, we flew in on a private jet. Our very generous friend brought us along with him on his private jet, and we could have flown anywhere in the country, and we came right here to Cherokee Village to see it. Yes, we had so much fun, and we didn't decide to come here until last night. Last night, we picked last this night, place. We... It was fantastic, yeah, could... unbelievable. If you've never seen a total eclipse, it's crazy. But you should come here. The people were so nice. Everybody is so nice, and it's just beautiful. Got a Ferris wheel, crayfish, <laughs> lemonade. Uh, all you can ask for. Thank you so yeah. much, and I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. I'm glad y'all came to Cherokee Village for this event. It was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, back to y'all. It was a fantastic day. All right. Thank you, Aaron. It was. How awesome is that? Could have gone anywhere in the world, and they picked right here in Region 8. I can't blame them. Yeah, Can't Cherokee Village. I think they'll go back. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, not far from Cherokee Village is Pocahontas and Randolph County. And that's where Hayden Savage has been all afternoon, witnessing all kinds of craziness, Diana. Hayden, yes. tell us about your experience. Oh, I've got Ron Deja with me here. Uh, I, I, for me, first time seeing an eclipse, just being able to see, you know, I, I watched the one in 2017 in my hometown of Mammoth Spring. And you know, it was partial, you know, it was nothing like we've ever seen. I mean, this was something I had never seen before. You know, the ring of fire, you saw pictures, just looking at it for yourself, though, it just doesn't do it justice. What do you think, Rondasia? Hayden, I thought it was dark, it was breezy, and it was relaxing. It was it was amazing. Um, you just have to experience, for, experience it for yourself. It was truly amazing. Well, and then just to watch the skydivers, like I said, we didn't get to see them, you know, jump out of the plane but uh we did see them you know come down and, and i was just being able to see the skydivers come out and land i mean that was just you know like the, the icing on top of the cake absolutely and watching them take off and just to see them land it was it was just satisfying and i'm just glad that everything went well yeah all right it's one for the ages for sure back to you guys Thank, Thank you guys so much. I'm really glad Rondasia is one of the newest members of our team. Right. I'm glad she got to be here for this big day. Diana. A spectacular day for Mother Nature. And to be able to take a look back 
and what we all experience today, we have a little bit of it right here. We sure do. Saving money is now more important than ever for seniors. But if you purchased a 995 guaranteed acceptance plan, you could easily find yourself overpaying for very little life insurance coverage. With the 995 rate, a 65-year-old male receives less than $900 in coverage. For $10,000 in coverage, he would pay over $110 a month with a two-year waiting period. Fortunately, with Senior Life Insurance Company, he pays less than $58 a month for $10,000 in protection. There's no waiting period, no medical exam, and he saves over $600 a year by choosing Senior Life. A 65-year-old female saves over $400 a year. Don't overpay for your life insurance. Call now to see how much money you could save with Senior Life. We could help you get cash back from your current overpriced policy. Call now to lock in your coverage and low monthly rate. For your free quote, call now. Auto Group, Roof Raiders, and K8 want to recognize the teachers in Region 8 who go above and beyond. Do you know a teacher that's making a big impact on the lives of their students? Nominate them for Teacher of the Month today. Just go to kait8.com and fill out an entry form explaining why you think that your favorite teacher should win. Then in May, one outstanding Teacher of the Month will be named Teacher of the Year. Sponsored by Kavanaugh Auto Group and Roof Raiders. The KH Storm Team, live, local, now. In Burlington, you know, I got up early for Good Morning America this morning, which is always a wonderful thing about that show is that you get to say good morning to the country uh, and watch the sun come up, but now we get to do it a second time here. And pardon us having our backs to the screen the cameras, here, but yeah. it's just something to really uh, marvel. And, and now what I'm seeing is that the TV doesn't do it any justice. It doesn't, right? To witness it. We're glad you're with us person. here today. Oh, uh, of course, but, of course. But for those who are seeing it in person, yes. I, I'm completely with you. I, uh, yes, but I don't it's want true. to turn no, no. anyone away. We hope don't you're loving it at home, channels. but it is incredible but, in yes. person. That, that really, the diamond ring was really. Yes, spectacular. Wow. A lot of people still actually haven't put their glasses back on, but I guess that yeah. is the, the smart thing Well, they're thing taking to do. photographs now, right? But there are people lining the shores of Lake Champlain here and really in every direction. And now to watch everything backlit like it's morning, like an early morning dawn here in Burlington, Vermont. And we knew this was going to race across the country, but I didn't quite expect for it to go this quickly, right? It, it's still like four minutes has never gone so fast. Uh, we, we really could could take more. I mean, it's just something and you want everybody to experience it. And and that is, you know, something that we continue to hear a sentiment that has been shared from city to city along this stuff is knowing your your space in your place in space, really. Right. And just how we are, just all these little dots. It really gives you perspective just in this one small galaxy, just how